Chapter 2581 Mysterious Cloud Seas Well done, snickered Evil Moon. You bad person. Why did you use me to hit Big Brother Long Chen? The one to attack Long Chen was the Demon Moon Furnace. Ling Er jumped out of the furnace and glared at Evil Moon, her hands on her hips. The Demon Moon Furnace had been refining pills when Evil Moon had suddenly dragged it out of the primal chaos space and struck Long Chen with it. Now, it's item spirit. Ling Er was glaring at Evil Moon like she would declare war on it. My power is linked to Long Chen. If I attacked, he would sense it. The only one capable of sneak attacking him in this state is the one he trusts the most. You. Really? I'm Big Brother Long Chen's most trusted person. Ling Er's fury vanished. Replaced with delight. Of course. There is no one who can compete with you. Said Evil Moon. Ling Er smiled excitedly. I'm Big Brother Long Chen's most trusted person. Haha. <laughs> but after spotting Long Chen lying on the ground with an egg-sized bleeding lump on his head. Her expression changed and she cursed Evil Moon. You bad person. I was his most trusted person. And I hit him. He won't trust me anymore. I. I. I'll go all out against you. The demon moon furnace lit up with divine light. Ow. Oh. Just at that moment. Long Chen woke up and he rubbed his head. Feeling the giant lump on his head. He furiously said. Old man. Weren't you too ruthless? Did you need to hit me so hard? Long Chen felt like his back skull was broken. What a ruthless blow. He was still dazed. Don't blindly accuse people. The old man pointed behind Long Chen. Long Chen turned back. Just in time to see Evil Moon and the Demon Moon Furnace vanish at the same time. They returned to the primal chaos space. Acting like this had nothing to do with them. Long Chen shook his head and saw Boss Bao and the others staring at him in shock. He seemed to recall something yet also wasn't able to recall it. Old man, did I lose control just now? Asked Long Chen. He circulated the primal chaos space's life energy, and the lump on his head slowly shrank. Yes, everything was going well at first, but when your divine ring appeared, you lost control. Just as you were about to summon the six-star battle armor, you were knocked out by your pill furnace, said the old man. Big brother Long Chen. It wasn't me. It was that evil fiend. Explained Ling Er. It's fine. You were probably the only one who could stop me in that state. Comforted Long Chen. Although he didn't quite know what had happened. He knew that after fighting together for so long. He and Evil Moon had gradually started to merge their power. It was difficult for Evil Moon to directly stop him as a result. In order to comfort Ling Er. Long Chen repeatedly emphasized how important she was. In truth. It could have been the demon moon furnace, the heaven flipping seal, or the moon and star refining furnace. Any of them could have struck him without him sensing the danger. HMPH. That evil fellow Evil Moon was right. I really am Big Brother Long Chen's most trusted partner. As expected, Ling Er was delighted to hear this. Long Chen, look inside yourself. See if your body has changed, said Evil Moon. Long Chen asked for a break from the old man. After that, the old man quickly checked his body and found that he wasn't injured. He even had 60 to 70 percent of his spiritual yuan. That shocked the old man. Such a terrifying heaven's wrath hadn't even exhausted Long Chen that much. Since he was fine, the old man let him go. However, the old man called over Boss Bao and the others for a lesson on the finer details of controlling the heaven's wrath. Long Chen then found a place to sit. He closed his eyes and activated his inner sense. After that, he was shocked to find Cloud Seas had appeared over his 108,000 astral spaces. What is that? Asked Long Chen. How am I supposed to know? When you entered the Heaven's Wrath state, your astral spaces sucked in the outside world's energy and condensed these Cloud Seas. They seem slightly similar to the low runes of the outside world but also not exactly the same. They were extremely active when you were in the Heaven's Wrath state, but once you were knocked out, they calmed down, said Evil Moon. Long Chen examined them, feeling lost. Currently, he had to rely entirely on himself for the nine-star hegemon body art. The Cloud Seas completely threw him off. It seems that the Cloud Seas are being absorbed by your astral spaces. When the Cloud Seas were active, the outside world's laws were affected by you and controlled by your divine ring. 
That's why you were able to unleash so much power without actually using up much of your own. Most importantly, the backlash mentioned by that old man didn't appear, perhaps because of these cloud seas as well. That's all the information I can provide you. You'll need to figure out the rest by yourself, said Evil Moon. He hadn't exhausted much of his own energy, nor had there been much backlash. Only now did Long Chen think to check and see that he had maintained 60 to 70 percent of his essence, chi, and spirit. He also wasn't like Boss Bao and the others who were too exhausted to stand after entering this state. When Evil Moon explained what had happened, Long Chen could only stare blankly at the cloud seas. His astral spaces were now covered by the cloud seas. They were like mist, providing a mysterious layer to his astral spaces. Well, I suppose they must be something good, but I have no idea how to use them, sighed Long Chen. The nine-star hegemon body art was starting to evolve out of his control. Rumbling rang out to the other side. Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and the others were still training. They gradually came to control the heaven's wrath state. Although they were still exhausted after one attack, it wasn't as bad as their first try. They began to preserve more and more energy, and yet their power only grew. They were clearly rapidly gaining insight into this technique. Damn it, am I really unable to learn the ninth form of split the heavens? The old man must have a way. Long Chen started to grow anxious upon seeing their rapid improvements. Now that he had come to experience just how terrifying this attack was, he wanted to learn it even more. There must be a way. There must. Calm down and think. Long Chen tried to comfort himself. He entered a meditative state to calm himself and check his own body. His astral spaces didn't seem to have much of a connection to the cloud seas. They were both still. Even after examining them for a long time, he wasn't able to see any clues. After that, he slowly entered the heaven's wrath state. At this moment, the cloud seas started to quiver. With his previous experience, he kept himself in this initial state and patiently observed the changes. As his essence, chi, and spirit spread through the outside world, the world rumbled, and the cloud seas became active. They were roiling, and the astral spaces were also quivering. I get it. The cloud seas are the bridge between the astral spaces and the outside world. My essence, chi, and spirit are the fire seed. While these cloud seas are the firewood, I'm burning the energy of the astral spaces and the outside world. Only once the fire seed is big enough will it cause more cloud seas to ignite. But these cloud seas really are baffling. I have no idea what they really are. Evil Moon, I'm trying again. Look after me. Long Chen's fury began to soar. As a result, the old man and the others jumped. This time, Long Chen's heaven's wrath was even more berserk than last time. However, Long Chen was once more struck in the end and collapsed. When he crawled up, he checked the cloud seas. They had grown a bit. Evil Moon said, this is no good. When you enter that state, you automatically summon your divine ring and then your six-star battle armor. You are unable to control it. That little old man is correct. If you can't control yourself, you will unleash all your power into one attack and then die. Your soul is too complicated to control this anger. The ninth form of split the heavens isn't suited for you. Evil Moon understood Long Chen well. Long Chen had gone against the common path countless times due to his instinctive will. That was something that could not change. Although Long Chen had not mentioned the pill sovereign's will within his soul, Evil Moon had managed to sense it. Furthermore, it was not just the pill sovereign's memories. There was something far darker hidden within Long Chen's soul. Evil Moon had already interrupted Long Chen multiple times when that black aura had started to infect him. That was why Evil Moon suggested that he gave up on the ninth form of Split the Heavens. It had no affinity with him. Essence, Chi, and Spirit are the origin. The Cloud Seas are the base. Ignite the energy of the astral spaces and the heavenly deos. Use anger as the connection to merge the two. The heavenly deos don't like me, so I have to forcibly take their energy. The heavenly deos don't like that, so they disturb my mind to make me see all the memories that infuriate me. How infuriating. I can't control my fury, so the fire only grows until it goes out of control. Long Chen muttered to himself. Evil Moon fell silent. It had already given up, but if Long Chen refused to give up, 
then it wouldn't waste any further effort on changing his mind. Long Chen suddenly slapped his leg and jumped up with a smile. I figured it out. This will definitely work. Chapter 2582 Sealing the Essence Chi and Spirit What Way? Asked Devil Moon in surprise. I'll seal a portion of my essence. Chi and Spirit. That way, I won't end up using up all my energy and dying, said Long Chen. And how are you supposed to seal them? Demanded Evil Moon. I'll split my essence, Chi, and spirit to you, Linger, and Little Heaven. The three of you can help look after me. Are you mad? If any one of us wanted to betray you, you would instantly die. Long Chen was essentially leaving his life in their hands. If any one of them wanted him dead, they could do it easily. This was definitely crazy. To put his life in other people's hands of his own accord. Was he not turning himself into a puppet? Long Chen mischievously laughed. The three of you and the moon and star refining furnace are all my comrades. I trust you. There's no need to mention the danger of betrayal. The Dragonblood Legion's 12,000 brothers are the same. I can entrust my life to them. So why can't I do the same with you? Big brother Long Chen. You really are great. Linger immediately ran over and hugged Long Chen's leg warmly. Thank you for your trust. I will not betray you in this life, said the moon and star refining furnace. The heaven flipping seal didn't know how to speak, so it could only express its gratitude with its spiritual fluctuations. It was like a child, so its intelligence couldn't compare to Linger. Linger and the others were so moved because it was always divine items entrusting their lives to their masters, not the other way around. Linger in particular was a demonic weapon who had gone through countless masters. She possessed the ability to devour her master and had long since lost any feelings toward the feeling known as trust. Hence, Long Chen's trust made her especially moved. She was willing to die for him. TCH. How sickening. Snorted Evil Moon. Bad Evil Moon. Bad fiend. You don't know anything. Don't think that just because big brother Long Chen doesn't care that things are over. I still remember how you used me. I have a long memory for grudges. So just wait for my vengeance, raged Linger. Up to you, said Evil Moon indifferently. All right, all right, we're not enemies. Linger, you seal 30% of my spiritual yuan, little heaven. You seal 30% of my essence blood, and Evil Moon, you're the strongest. So you seal 30% of my spiritual strength, said Long Chen. It's still useless. If you can't control your anger. You won't be able to differentiate between friend and foe, said Evil Moon, pouring cold water over his idea. That's why you're in charge of my soul. To make sure I'm clear-minded, we'll share souls, said Long Chen. What bullshit is that? I'm from the dark evil dragon race. We're the bloodthirstiest, cruelest existences in the evil dragon race. You want me to control your anger, exclaimed Evil Moon in disbelief. Yes, Long Chen simply nodded. Yes my ass, I'm the one enraged, I was refined into a weapon by that bastard Yun Shang, I don't even have a physical body left, I'm the one whose anger needs to explode, if we join souls, our anger merges, isn't that just throwing oil on the fire, cursed Evil Moon, Long Chen had decided on such a plan, that was unimaginable, that won't happen, I feel like I have a dark side, but compared to you, it pales into insignificance. You can absorb my darkness, allowing me to remain clear-minded. I trust that you can do it. Evil Moon, you are a mighty expert from the evil dragon race. When you lost to Yun Shang, it was just a slip-up of carelessness. Such a minor matter is nothing to you, said Long Chen calmly. Don't play this crap with me. A defeat is a defeat. Don't think that a few words will make me feel arrogant enough to do something impossible like an idiot. If you want to try it then fine. I can only say that I'll do my best. I'm just telling you that the chance of failure is extremely high, snorted Evil Moon. It was truly familiar with Long Chen. He was trying to praise it into taking more responsibility. But Evil Moon was not so foolish. In truth, it wasn't that it didn't want to work things out. It was just that it was afraid of the darkness within Long Chen's soul infecting it as well. Then they would all be doomed. As a result, it could only give some warnings ahead of time. Once things started to get dicey, it would immediately stop things. All right, let's start. 
I'll pass the seeds of my essence, chi, and spirit for you guys to look after. Long Chen's aura once more began to surge. In the distance, the old man and the others immediately paused their own training. This aura, it's actually so stable. The old man was startled. Long Chen's aura was no longer as berserk as before. It was rising steadily, even more steadily than Boss Bao. Ha ha ha. I knew nothing could stop me. Long Chen suddenly laughed arrogantly. Don't be so shameless. This is all thanks to us. Snorted Evil Moon disdainfully. With their souls merged, Evil Moon noticed that it could share Long Chen's rage, allowing it to rise steadily. Even Evil Moon didn't quite understand why this was the case. Have I been suppressing myself for so long that I'm used to it? Have I forgotten the pride and dignity of the dragon race? Evil Moon began to question itself. Or is it to say that the grievances that Long Chen has suffered are nothing to me? Even Evil Moon didn't know what was going on. Long Chen's intuition had been shockingly accurate. This plan really worked. The divine ring was steadily growing. Cracks once more appeared in the void, but everything was still under control. Long Chen's eyes were tinted red. However, he was still aware. Excellent. Let's have an exchange. The old man raised the heaven splitting blade. Old man, be careful. Long Chen felt unprecedented power. In this state, he had double the power. The outside world's energy ignited, and the cloud seas linked it to his astral spaces. These two energies mixed, creating a new energy that was vast and powerful. As Long Chen slashed his saber, space was torn apart. Boom. The heaven spitting blades runes world, blocking Long Chen's attack. At this moment, the void compressed and then suddenly exploded. Boss Bao and the others had long since fled but were still sent flying by the astral winds. Long Chen's divine ring slowly spun. The void rumbled and boomed. It was as if the heavens were enraged. Heavenly punishment was about to descend and wipe out all lives. Ha ha ha. Good. Very good. This is the control you need. Keep going. The old man laughed delightedly. The fact that Long Chen was able to control the heavens wrath was the happiest thing. Is it alright to keep going? asked Long Chen. Although it was a question, in his furious state, it became like an interrogation. What nonsense are you spouting? As long as you don't go crazy again, you can use as much power as you can, barked the old man. It was hard to remain calm in the heaven's wrath state. It seemed that even the old man was affected. All right, Long Chen's divine ring began to accelerate. As it sped up, more and more cracks appeared in the void. The void was shattering like glass. Flames and lightning burst out of Long Chen. Stop. The old man and Evil Moon shouted at the same time. This space was no longer able to endure his power. If Long Chen kept going, the space would break. As for Evil Moon, it was shouting because Long Chen's fury was starting to affect it as well. Ha ha ha. Well done. How did you do this? The old man patted Long Chen's shoulder. Bao Buping and the others also ran over. Long Chen didn't hide anything, so he directly explained. Bao Buping was excited to hear it and also wanted to find two more divine items for himself. But the old man harshly told him off. Long Chen had only done this because he had no other choice. He didn't cultivate the battle god sacred canon. As his cultivation technique didn't match the ninth form of split the heavens, he had no choice but to take the risk. However, the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples didn't need to do so. Furthermore, where would they find divine items like Evil Moon, the Demon Moon Furnace, and the heaven-flipping seal? Even if someone found them, how many item spirits had an absolute bond of trust between them and their masters? Excellent. You've managed to control the heaven's wrath. Then I can explain how to use the ninth form of split the heavens. It requires 81 acupuncture points. Nine nines is the peak. After activating all 81 acupuncture points, you have to reconnect to the first acupuncture points. By forming a link between the start and end, you get a complete cycle. If you are unable to form this cycle, your body will instantly explode. Warned the old man gravely, that, Boss Bao and the other's expressions changed. To link the strongest acupuncture point with the weakest would require very precise control over their spiritual yuan. Such a thing might be simple during normal times, but in the heaven's wrath state, just how were they supposed to have such delicate control? I know it's very difficult, but when you succeed, 
you will know that it is all worth it, said the old man. Suddenly, the jade plate on the old man's waist lit up. The old man checked it and was surprised. Long Chen, Guo Ran from your dragon blood legion has come to see you. Ah, there's no need. Help me tell him to exercise and relax his muscles. Long Chen chortled. Guo Ran had come out of seclusion, so he definitely wanted to settle the grudge between them. All right, then let's continue training. Just as Long Chen was training in the ninth form of Split the Heavens, a group of people arrived in front of the Yin Yang world. One person stepped forward, arrogantly shouting into the Yin Yang world, Little imps of the blood race, get out here for your daddy Guo. I haven't killed anyone in a few days, so I'll need a few of you to satisfy me. Chapter 2583 The Blood Race's Provocations Guo Ran swaggered over to the entrance of the Yin Yang world. That appearance of his truly made people want to slap him. Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan had come as well. There were just over 10,000 Dragonblood warriors with them. Their arrival delighted the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts that had been standing guard over this place. During the past few days, the Blood Race had launched repeated sneak attacks against their defenses. However, they were forced to only passively defend as the senior generation refused to allow them to go on the offense. Constantly defending had long since infuriated them. However, their mission was to guard this place and not let a single expert of the Blood Race charge onto the continent so they could only endure. Seeing the Dragonblood Legion appear, especially Guo Ran's swaggering appearance, they instantly knew that there would be a good show. Guo Ran, why have you come? asked Ji Lingxian. She remembered Long Chen saying that the Dragonblood Legion would be going into seclusion. Why had they come out so quickly? Is the Alliance head here? asked Guo Ran stealthily, not directly replying. Ye Lingxian said, Master went to the Divine Ice Palace. After that, she said that she would go pay her respects to the elusive music Immortal Palace and then the Wine God Palace. It will probably be a few days before she's back. Why? She's not here. Ha ha ha. Good. Good. Senior Apprentice Sister Lingxian. I'm sure you're tired. We'll help you out for the next few days. Laughed Guo Ran. I only got here yesterday. Said Yi Lingxian. As the future Alliance head, there's no need for you to personally stand guard here. That is giving far too much face to the blood race. It makes them think that we're afraid of them. You should go back and leave things here to me, said Guo Ran amicably. Yi Lingxian looked at Guo Ran and then at the dragon blood warriors overflowing with battle intent. She instantly realized what Guo Ran wanted to do. Don't mess around. Right now, we need to be steady. Time is favorable to us, so we don't need to take the risk, said Yi Lingxian. I'm not messing around. My boss has ordered me to slaughter the blood race. Boss said that we have to suppress their arrogance. This relates to the morale of the martial heaven continent, said Guo Ran solemnly. Really Yi Lingxian looked to Gu Yang and the others. Aya, would I dare to trick you? Just find a chair to watch the show from. Leave the rest to us. Guo Ran hastily interrupted this thought. Afraid of Gu Yang and the others not properly covering for him. He then led them forward. Since these were Long Chen's orders, Yi Lingxian didn't stop them. Guo Ran was extremely refreshed at this. His boss truly was the boss. Even the future alliance had listened to him. The feeling of giving fake imperial edicts was truly good. I hear that the blood race has been particularly arrogant lately? My boss specifically sent me to handle you. Warriors of the Martial Heaven Continent, watch us. Don't forget to cheer for us. Guo Ran walked to the front and raised his fist into the air. After following Long Chen for so long, when he got serious, he actually did have some of the air of a leader. This shout instantly drew fanatical cheers out of the disciples guarding this place. The Martial Heaven Continent's number one legion had come. Their blood instantly began to heat up. The seniors looked at each other, not knowing what to do. The youngsters today really weren't steady enough. However, they also knew that they had truly grown old. Their hot blood had faded, and they no longer had the impetuousness of youth. Perhaps every generation would always belong to the young. This disturbance naturally drew the blood race's attention. Their experts began to gather. There was now a 10,000-mile domain between the martial heaven continent and the yin-yang world. The laws of both worlds were present in this space. 
This was different from when Long Chen had appeared here last time. Within this domain, both the Martial Heaven Continent and the Blood Races experts could fight at their maximum potential. This had now become an even battlefield for both sides. Last time, Long Chen had charged into the Yun Yang world, the home territory of the Blood Race, suppressing their army of millions and millions of experts, slaying Heaven Merging experts, and defeating Sovereign Sprouts. He had made them lose a great deal of face, although their world divine item had interfered in the end, forcing him out and injuring Daoist Heavenly Feather, that was not enough to win back all the face that they had lost. Hence, the Blood Race had launched multiple sneak attacks after he left, wanting to kill a few of the Martial Heaven Continent's experts. However, the suppression of the laws of the Martial Heaven Continent meant that even after dozens of sneak attacks, they were unable to break through their blockade. Not even a fly was able to get by them. They had sacrificed tens of thousands of their experts for nothing, further enraging them. In order to vent that rage, they began to curse the Martial Heaven Continent's disciples blocking them. Unexpectedly, they were extremely skilled at cursing people. They had all kinds of vile curses that made the Martial Heaven Continent's disciples gnash their teeth. If it weren't for the seniors harshly ordering them, it was unknown just how many of them would have charged out to kill the Blood Race army. This battlefield had ended up becoming unusual, where the Blood Race was sending out people to curse them every few minutes, insulting the human race's ancestors about how they had been useless and conquered by them, how they had trampled them. Even the Alliance head was unable to keep everyone under control, which was why she had called Yi Lingxin over. After all, they were all youngsters. If it was just the seniors ordering them to suppress their emotions, that would not work as a long-term plan. However, just after Yi Lingxin arrived and before she had come up with a solution, Guo Ran also came. Ha ha ha, the human race has actually sent out a group of dogs. So what? They're all cowards only fit to kneel beneath our feet. The provocations of the blood race instantly started back up. What idiots. Did you not hear your daddy Guo's words? I haven't killed people in a few days. If you want to die, then come, said Guo Ran, leading the dragon blood warriors into the special domain. Ha ha ha, the cowards of the human race have come to die. One of the blood race's experts stepped into the battlefield. Hundreds of thousands of his comrades standing on the border of the battlefield. This would be an even battle. An ant also dares to be so arrogant. Who wants to kill this trash? Guo Ran looked at that expert and shook his head. Me. One of the dragon blood warriors instantly stepped forward. Guo Ran eyed him and cursed. Have some face. You are a squad leader. Why bully a minor character? Leave it to one of the other brothers. That person could only retreat. After that, one of the ordinary dragon blood warriors walked into the center of the battlefield. The blood race's experts instantly grew excited. Their throats were already tired from cursing for days. Their chance for real retribution had finally come. Lai Bu, make sure to go lightly. Don't instantly kill him and extinguish this new bravery of the human race. Right, if you kill one and the others turn coward again, there won't be anything to play with. Yes, let him exchange ten blows before killing him. Let them have some hope. Ha ha ha, the blood race's army cheered. However, they didn't notice that as they said all this. They couldn't antagonize the Martial Heaven Continent's experts. Instead, the ridicule on the Martial Heaven Continent's experts' faces grew. You're trembling. Are you afraid? Asked the Dragonblood Warrior lightly. His opponent smiled, revealing sharp teeth. Can you not tell? This is excitement. I can't contain myself when I think of slaughtering all the human race once we invade. The Dragonblood Warrior also smiled. I'm also excited. We normally end up fighting against our own race, but now I'll get to slaughter other races. I don't need to feel a weight on my conscience and can slaughter you freely. I'm thinking it really will feel amazing. What an idiot. Even with death at hand, you are still so carefree. Do you not realize that the Martial Heaven Continent is on the verge of annihilation sneered the blood race expert? I really don't know that. Why don't you show me your ability? Then maybe I'll have a sense of crisis. The Dragonblood Warrior smiled indifferently. He arrived just 300 meters away from his opponent. The human race is so stupid that I can't be bothered to waste words on you. Take out your sword. 
Otherwise, once I attack, you won't even have a chance to take it out. His opponent slowly spread his arms. Runes lit up all over his body, and his blood chi began to rise. I don't need to unsheath my sword against you. Go ahead and make your move. Die. The blood race expert was infuriated. At this moment, the ground beneath him shattered, and he shot forward, turning into a blood-colored streak of light. Bang. A fist tore through the void, unleashing blood mist. Then the streak of light continued several miles before slowing down. Startled cries rang out. That blood race expert's head was now missing. His headless corpse continued into the distance due to his momentum before collapsing. The blood race's army was stunned. As for the Martial Heaven Continent side, the only reason that they were startled was because they couldn't even clearly see what had happened just now. That Dragonblood warrior hadn't summoned his manifestation or even unleashed his aura. Yet, they were unable to clearly see his movements before his opponent was killed. TCH. After bragging so much, he wasn't even able to endure a single blow. The Dragonblood warrior shook his head disdainfully. Looking at the blood race experts in the distance, he shouted, I am Ling Weifeng of Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion's 37th squad in the third course. If you want to quickly reincarnate, step forward and take advantage of this opportunity. This shout drove the blood race's army crazy. One of them charged forward, unleashing a palm that released countless blood-colored ripples in the void. Careful, that's their bloodline sealing art shouted the martial heaven continent side chapter 2584 one punch one kill this bloodline sealing art of the blood race was a divine ability hated by the human race it was something that caused the circulation of their blood to become unsteady sometimes it would be fast sometimes it would be slow without a strong enough blood chi it might just stop flowing at all and it gravely affected their fighting potential this technique had caused headaches in most recent skirmishes for the human race. Since it covered the world like a domain, there was no meaning in dodging. Die. That blood race expert had expected Ling Weifeng to dodge and was preparing his next attack when he saw his technique easily envelop Ling Weifeng. After that, his blood chi exploded, and he let out a powerful punch. Boom. Blood mist exploded. Dying the sky red. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts let out startled cries. He was killed. No, the one killed, was that blood race expert. When the mist faded, it revealed Ling Weifeng, while his second opponent was gone. Is he not afraid of the blood race's bloodline ceiling? What terrifying power. The Martial Heaven Continent side was delighted to see this. Even an ordinary dragon blood warrior was able to easily defeat the blood race using one blow each. Is the blood race only capable of bragging? Don't they have any real ability? Asked Ling Weifeng disdainfully. Arrogance another expert of the blood race charged out. Incredibly fast. He was an extremely large and powerful expert. Clearly from a power type branch of the blood race. He immediately unleashed a fierce punch at Ling Weifeng. Boom. This time, both sides were evenly matched and forced back a dozen steps each. The human race has nothing to be arrogant about. Try another punch. Cheers burst out of the blood race's side, and their new challenger taunted Ling Weifeng, pouncing out once more. Centipede-like patterns covered his entire body. At the same time, one of his arms suddenly swelled up and emitted golden light. I'll smash you apart with a single punch. The blood race expert smiled sinisterly and unleashed his punch. Blinding light erupted. At this moment, a dragon cry rang out followed by exploding bloody mist. The blood race expert's arm was gone. A ripple of bloody mist spread through. This fresh blood gave the sky a somewhat poignant look. The dragon roar continued to hang in the air. Right now, Ling Weifeng's body was covered in dragon scales. His manifestation was a flying dragon that emitted wild dragon pressure that caused the world to shake. The dragon within his manifestation had multicolored scales. The rainbow light was beautiful and harsh at the same time. Everyone was startled, including the Martial Heaven Continent's experts. Wasn't their dragon battle armor red before? What happened? Why is it rainbow colored now? They had seen the dragon blood warriors enter their dragon blood battle armor state multiple times, but this time it was different. It was beautiful, mighty, and tyrannical at the same time. The dragon behind him emitted a pressure that made them feel an unconscious reverence. 
The Dragonblood Legion's power is completely ridiculous. Even an ordinary member is so powerful. Although they all knew that the Dragonblood Legion was the continent's number one Legion, it was shocking to find that an ordinary warrior was so powerful. He, if Boss saw that our new Dragon Scale armor was so powerful, he would definitely be delighted, said Li Chi. Exactly. I tried to go show him in the heaven-splitting battle sect, but he was too busy to see me. It's a real shame, sighed Guo Ran. You're not mad at boss, asked Gu Yang curiously. In this lifetime, I will never be mad at boss, said Guo Ran. That's admirable. You were able to survive seven days of torture. That's practically a miracle, said Gu Yang. Amongst the ordinary dragonblood warriors, even the strong ones had only lasted five days. But Guo Ran had endured for seven days. That meant that Guo Ran actually had great perseverance and immense potential. Only after seven days had he reached the point that he couldn't absorb any more essence blood. It's thanks to Xia Chen's act. Hmm. But of course, it's mainly due to my unyielding nature. Ha ha ha. Guo Ran laughed. When Guo Ran realized that he had been tricked, he had almost died of vexation. He had cursed Xia Chen with his best curses almost starting a fight with him. Long Chen's act had truly been good. Guo Ran had been the one encouraging Xia Chen to endure and last longer. Not only had he been forced to endure his own pain, but he had needed to encourage Xia Chen. How could Guo Ran not be angry at such a trick? However, when he sensed the transformation of his body, his anger instantly vanished. The current Guo Ran was now full of confidence for the future. His first thought had been to go thank Long Chen. Conveniently, he could also show off a bit of his new power. However, Long Chen had refused to see him, not realizing that Guo Ran hadn't been wanting to complain or get revenge. Not having a chance to show off to Long Chen, Guo Ran decided a small act for the blood race was in order. Hence, he had led some of the Dragon Blood Legion to the Yun Yang world, but he was disappointed that the blood race didn't meet his expectations. A sword swung through creating a whine in the air. Another expert of the blood race was killed. This was the twelfth expert that Ling Weifeng had killed. The first eight were not even qualified to make him take out his sword. As for the most recent one, he was truly powerful but had only lasted eight exchanges before dying. An ordinary dragon blood warrior had killed twelve of the blood race's experts. This fact made the martial heaven continent side explode in cheers. In just a short time, Millions of experts had gathered due to the disturbance. Youngsters and seniors mixed into the crowd and came to watch. Some leaders had also rushed over to allow their disciples, who had yet to even reach the Xi'anshan realm, to gain experience. Witnessing a battle on this level was an experience that money couldn't buy, and it could greatly affect a person. Even a casual blow from an expert had an immense depth to it. The Dragonblood Legion in particular was on the level of miracles. Being able to see their battle was practically these people's greatest honor. The transportation formations were limited to the Martial Heaven Alliance's sects. Hence, smaller sects couldn't directly come and were forced to use flying boats from the closest transportation formations that they could reach. Because of it, flying boats, war chariots, and magical beasts were rushing over just to see the Dragonblood Legion fight off the experts from the Yun Yang world. Every kill caused a chorus of cheers to erupt from the Martial Heaven continent's side, heating up their blood. Boss Guo Ran, Ling Weifeng must be tired. It's time to switch, said one Dragonblood warrior eagerly. Guo Ran looked back at him contemptuously. When you lie, try to have a conscience. Are you worried about him, or worried about yourself not getting to show off? Ling Weifeng's spiritual yuan was still at maximum capacity. He was currently in his peak state. Furthermore, the Dragonblood Warriors had experienced hundreds of long battles. This was just the start. Boss Guo Ran, my thoughts are easily read by a wise, heroic man like you. I simply feel that all the benefits shouldn't be taken by one person. You should spread your grace. The Dragonblood Warrior smiled charmingly. Give it up. Who told you to be so slow? Now you don't get a chance. Aren't I also bitterly enduring it? Who again sent out word of our challenge to the blood race, said Guo Ran. Fine, fine, you're right. The dragon blood warrior could only retreat. Guo Ran's meaning was clear. This was his plot for showing off. 
and the important part was coming up. Did he think Guo Ran would give this opportunity to someone else? Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyu enrolled their eyes at the same time. However, they also knew that it was a good thing that Guo Ran was acting like this. He had been conned by Long Chen into a miserable torment for seven days. The reason that Xia Chen hadn't come along this time around was precisely due to how ruthless this con had been. He still felt too embarrassed. Although Guo Ran's resentment had long since vanished, Xia Chen still felt guilty. In fact, this guilt only made Guo Ran feel awkward. However, they were all brothers, so this awkwardness would fade in a few days. At this moment, Ling Weifeng had just killed another blood race expert, who had endured a hundred blows before losing. His defeat had shocked the Blood Race's army, and a dozen of their experts had gone out to save him. However, Ling Weifeng had killed him before they could arrive. The Martial Heaven Continent side exploded in a roar of cheers. The Blood Race's side was shocked. It seemed that the one Ling Weifeng had just killed had an extremely high position amongst them. Kill him. The dozen Blood Race experts were infuriated and charged forward, ignoring their previous agreement and using numbers. Despicable. Shameless the blood race really is trash, raged the martial heaven continent's experts. Wild sky twister, Ling Weifeng's sword unleashed sword chi that filled the sky. In front of countless shocked gazes, those blood race experts were cut into millions of pieces. Not even one of them survived. However, the sky suddenly turned dark, and a giant hand slammed toward Ling Weifeng. The heavenly Tao energy of this domain was forced out. It's an expert on the level of a sovereign sprout. Just as the giant hand was about to fall, a golden arrow flew through the air at it. Chapter 2585 Dragon Battle Armor Boom The arrow exploded, unleashing a wave of flames that blasted away the hand. After that, a figure was revealed behind the hand. When that figure appeared, startled cries rang out from some of the senior experts of the Martial Heaven Continent. They recognized him as the guy that Long Chen had previously defeated. Last time, he had almost been killed by Long Chen. He had slinked away with heavy wounds. But now, his aura was even stronger. The contemptible human race actually launches sneak attacks. The sovereign sprout level expert snorted, and a spear appeared in his hand. It struck toward Ling Weifeng like a viper in the night. Even upon facing someone this strong, Ling Weifeng's expression didn't twitch. His manifestation rumbled, and his sword slashed through the air. Space quivered as the two divine items met. The power caused waves to ripple out of the void. Ling Weifeng was unable to keep hold of his sword, and it went flying along with him. What? He actually blocked the attack of a sovereign sprout level expert. The martial heaven continent's experts were stunned. Although Ling Weifeng was injured, his opponent was an expert on the level of a sovereign sprout. The sovereign sprout of the blood race furrowed his brow. He had thought that he would easily wipe out Ling Weifeng with this attack, but he hadn't expected Ling Weifeng to be so powerful. Even the bloodline pressure of a sovereign sprout was unable to suppress Ling Weifeng's bloodline power. Die. The sovereign sprout appeared in front of Ling Weifeng, practically teleporting. His spear stabbed toward his head. Even in his weakened state, even with death at hand, Ling Weifeng didn't show any fear. He raised his right hand, and light condensed in his palm. There's no need for that. This trash isn't worth you sacrificing your life. Guo Ran's lazy voice rang out. Just when that spear was no further than three inches from Ling Weifeng's hand, a blood-colored hand caught it. The spear could not go forward the slightest bit in its hold. At this moment, the world turned silent. Guo Ran was standing in front of Ling Weifeng, his right hand holding the spear. Armor slowly appeared around Guo Ran's right arm. The rest of him was still in normal battle robes. Wind whistled. Even without summoning his manifestation or the dragon blood battle armor, Guo Ran had easily caught the blood race's sovereign sprout's attack. The sovereign sprout was stunned. His arms trembled as he tried to pull his spear, but he was unable to budge it. It was like his spear was now linked to Guo Ran's arm. Runes revolved around Guo Ran's arm. At this moment, the Sovereign Sprout felt like all the force he was sending into the spear was falling into a boundless sea. It vanished without a trace. Brother, you can go back. You've shown off enough. So leave things here to me. Guo Ran smiled at Ling Weifeng. Ling Weifeng nodded and retreated. 
leaving only Guo Ran and the Sovereign Sprout on the battlefield. The atmosphere instantly tensed. Guo Ran's power has grown, so his showing off skills have also grown with it. He has managed to almost replicate Boss's air, said Gu Yang. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan nodded. The current Guo Ran was probably the one with the greatest killing power in the Dragon Blood Legion other than Long Chen. Even Yu Zifeng could no longer match him. This time, Long Chen had managed to drag out his potential. Right now, the Sovereign Sprout refused to let go of the spears that would be admitting defeat. But suddenly, Guo Ran let go. As a result, the Sovereign Sprout shot back violently, not having expected such a thing. He tumbled back raising a line of dust. To outsiders, it looked as if Guo Ran had silently sent him flying without moving. That stunned everyone. After a moment of shock, the Martial Heaven Continent side cheered. Even a Sovereign Sprout had been sent flying by Guo Ran. Now they were truly stunned by the Dragon Blood Legion's power. Who are you? Report your name, demanded the Sovereign Sprout. Such a terrifying opponent had to be famous on the Martial Heaven Continent. He was still not over his defeat to Long Chen. Hence, after recuperating, he had come back to have his vengeance against Long Chen. He still refused to accept his defeat. Last time, he hadn't had a chance to unleash many of his divine abilities. Originally, he had thought that Long Chen had to be the strongest expert of the Martial Heaven Continent's rising generation. But now he found that another terrifying fellow had appeared. As soon as his opponent asked for his name, Guo Ran puffed out his chest and clasped his hands behind him. He then looked into the sky, looking lonely and aloof. Seeing his expression, Gu Yang and the others covered their faces. This again, as expected, Guo Ran loudly chanted, I swept through the four seas and crossed a thousand mountains, causing huge billows in heaven and earth. I slaughtered demons, eliminated devils, plucked the stars and the moon. The protector of all races is me Guo Ran. Guo Ran added extra emphasis to the final three words, spitting them out with his powerful spiritual yuan and dragon might. His voice resounded through heaven and earth like raging waves. Gu Yang, how embarrassing Li Qi, I'm getting goosebumps song Mingyuan. Although he often changes his last phrase, he's never made it not embarrassing. To tell the truth, I kind of want to go back now. Absolutely shameless, said the three of them together. Now they understood why Yu Zifeng had awkwardly declined to join them on this incursion when they were gathering. Yu Zifeng definitely didn't want to endure this kind of embarrassment, so he had tactfully declined. It seemed that Yu Zifeng was the smartest among them. While Gu Yang and the others were embarrassed, the rest of the Martial Heaven Continent's experts grew even more impassioned, their cheers growing louder. The young men and women in particular were shouting to the point that their voices were hoarse but they didn't care. What kind of dog shit introduction was that? A surname of me? I'll show you the terror of the blood race. The Sovereign Sprout was infuriated by Guo Ran's particular way of acting badass. His spear's rune slowly lit up, and his aura climbed crazily. Surnamed me. Guo Ran was confused at first, but then he cursed. You idiot. Do the blood races people not read books? I'm surnamed Guo, not me. I'm your daddy Guo. Guo Ran, the mighty, domineering atmosphere that Guo Ran had created for himself was instantly shattered. Gu Yang and the others bitterly smiled. In the end, if he was just acting, he couldn't keep it up for long. The Dragon Blood warriors heartlessly laughed at him. Had the Sovereign Sprout been intentionally trying to infuriate Guo Ran? He could not have done better. Who cares who you are? Last time, I was careless to lose to one of you humans. This time, I'll kill you before moving on to that Long Chen, said the Sovereign Sprout coldly. His aura continued to climb, seeming like it had no limit. Idiot. Long Chen is our boss. He wasn't even fighting you seriously last time, or a single fart would have blown you to pieces, said Guo Ran disdainfully. So your comrades. Good. Very good. Then I'll get some interest before killing him. The Sovereign Sprout's fury soared. His blood chi exploded out of him like flames, igniting the void. Big words. Your blood race should change your name to the bragging race. You just keep bragging. My boss only let you escape with your pitiful life due to a moment of carelessness. Once I kill you here, you won't have another chance to challenge my boss. Guo Ran snorted. 
his armor spread to cover his entire body. Guo Ran's voice rang out from within the armor, and it changed, becoming metallic. It was icy and domineering. He seemed to become a machine built for slaughter. Tremble in fear as you wait for death. I'll use absolute power to show you that your so-called power is nothing more than a joke before me. Guo Ran's armor had changed a lot from before. Now, his helmet had two wings that were inspired by Wild's horns. There was multicolored immortal metal on his shoulders, elbows, and knee joints. Immortal Chi could be seen inside of the metal along with some vague dragon-shaped runes within the mist. Due to it, the metal gave off a divine glow. Startled cries rang out when the Martial Heaven Continent's experts saw the new armor. Guo Ran's wares were constantly improving. His battle armor was now one layer smaller, no longer looking so clumsy. It also gained a new grace and elegance to it. The armor shone with divine light once it was fully summoned. It was like the rising sun, emitting a dazzling light. This was the first time anyone had seen such beautiful and formidable battle armor. Only useless beings rely on external power. In front of me, this armor of yours is nothing more than a flimsy decoration the Sovereign Sprout sneered. He had finally finished accumulating power. As a result, the heavens twisted as if they were boiling. I'll finish you in one move. The Sovereign Sprout charged at Guo Ran like a meteor. His spear was stabbing toward Guo Ran with all the power that he had accumulated. It just so happens that I also want to test just how strong my new dragon battle armor is, said Guo Ran casually. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Guo Ran simply stood there, allowing the spear to stab into his chest. Chapter 2586 How do you want to die? An ear-piercing explosion shook the void. Divine runes filled the sky. What when the runes exploded? They revealed two figures and a giant hole in the ground. The blood race's sovereign sprout spear was stopped at Guo Ran's chest. While Guo Ran was simply standing there, the spear was unable to pierce through him. He blocked it just like that. People's heads were blank. That was a full power attack from a sovereign sprout but had been stopped just like that. For a moment, people could only stand there in dumbfounded silence. The only thing still moving was the whirling dust. The sovereign sprout of the blood race was also stunned. He couldn't believe his own eyes. The head of a strange creature had appeared on Guo Ran's chest, protecting him. Its mouth was open almost as if in a silent sneer. If Long Chen was present, he would instantly recognize it as the door knocker they had taken from the netherworld. Guo Ran had made it part of his armor, using some special runes to draw out its potential. It was capable of receiving an all-out attack from a sovereign sprout. Other than feeling a bit uncomfortable on his chest, this attack didn't cause him any damage. The painful feeling quickly vanished. Guo Ran almost cried out in excitement. This new armor was so powerful that endless possibilities were now worrying about within his head. The main factor in his new power was actually his strength and physical body. Long Chen's Khan had given him a much stronger physical body. Without the strengthening, this attack would have inflicted some wounds, most likely making him cough up blood. But since he would be in his armor, no one would see that, so he would still appear badass. However, his new physical body was so powerful that with the dragon blood battle armor, he was able to easily receive the attack of a sovereign sprout. This is all the power you have? The blood race really is foolish, said Guo Ran disdainfully. It was as if the Sovereign Sprout before him was nothing. All of a sudden, the tip of the spear began to crack, and then it shattered. That sound was exceptionally heavy in people's ears. Isn't this crazy? Long Chen sliced apart his spear with a saber, and now his new one is silently shattered by Guo Ran without him even moving. The Martial Heaven Continent's expert's jaws dropped. Scram. Suddenly, Guo Ran's hand swung out. The Sovereign Sprout raised the shaft of his spear to block, only for it to break apart as well. The difference is too great compared to Boss. If he was the one doing it, this slap would have definitely struck his face. Guo Ran sighed inside. Even if Guo Ran managed to imitate all of Long Chen's movements, his divine face slapping art simply wasn't able to reach the same level. He was unable to stroke his opponent's face. However, it was good enough. Shattering his weapon and sending him flying also made this slap a very domineering one. When did Guo Ran get so powerful? Wondered Li Qi. His physical strength has reached above the average of the Dragonblood warriors. 
with his armor multiplying his power by dozens of times, maybe even a hundred times, it becomes this powerful, said Gu Yang. Originally, Guo Ran's power was at the bottom of the Dragonblood Legion, and by a large margin at that, now it was like a sparrow had transformed into a phoenix. Even they were forced to envy him. More and more of the Martial Heaven Continent's experts were congregating, and most of them belonged to powers that were part of the Martial Heaven Alliance. There were no longer neutral powers. As for the Dragonblood Legion, they were the soul of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Hence, as the general of the Dragonblood Legion, everyone naturally knew who Guo Ran was. Seeing him so easily force back a sovereign sprout, they felt new confidence in the Martial Heaven Alliance. His display was arrogant and tyrannical, so their blood was heating up just by watching. The Sovereign Sprout felt a mix of anger and shock. Just one of Long Chen's subordinates was actually this powerful? He trembled with rage. Bastard, you're intolerable suddenly. The Sovereign Sprout went crazy. He spread his arms, and black clouds condensed within the Yun Yang world. Not good. The blood race experts in the yin yang world immediately began to cry out when they saw those black clouds. You can't. The damage to your bloodline. Shut up. The sovereign sprout roared furiously. His eyes were scarlet as if he was bedeviled. You ants have no idea just how powerful the blood race is. The aura of the yin yang world has yet to fully spread into this place. So my bloodline power is suppressed by the vile aura of the martial heaven continent. Did you really think that the blood race only had this little bit of ability? You're wrong. Whether it's Long Chen or you, you're all trash unfit to challenge me. I'll show you our true power without the suppression of your laws. A blood-colored rune appeared on the Sovereign Sprout's forehead. At this moment, black clouds were spreading out of the Yun Yang world and into the Martial Heaven continent. He's drawing in the power of their world to the battlefield. The Martial Heaven continent's laws are being stripped away. Have Guo Ran retreat, shouted an elder at Gu Yang. The aura of the Yun Yang world filled the battlefield, and the laws of the Martial Heaven continent were being forced back. No need to worry. Guo Ran is a person who slays devils and demons, someone who plucks the stars and moon. Other than Boss Long Chen, he won't lose to anyone else. He, this minor matter is nothing to him. You just need to watch the fun, said Gu Yang. Suppressing the laws of the Martial Heaven Continent might gravely affect others, but Guo Ran relied on his armor. As long as he could still summon his manifestation, he was completely unaffected by such a thing. He didn't rely on magical arts. Furthermore, the Dragonblood Warriors' manifestations were different from ordinary Empyreans. Their manifestations didn't rely so much on heavenly Tao energy as others. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! I swept through the four seas and crossed a thousand mountains. What kind of devil haven't I seen? What demon haven't I killed? If this is your trump card, then fine. I won't attack or interrupt you. Go ahead. I will defeat you in your strongest state to allow the blood race to see just how great the difference between us is. I'll show you how inferior you are compared to the mighty human race. Sneered Guo Ran. Just like that. He stood there with his arms clasped behind him waiting for his opponent to accumulate energy. Gu Yang and the others had some cold sweat on them, but that was from embarrassment. They exchanged a glance and shook their heads. The way that Guo Ran was talking about himself, it was like he thought himself a sovereign. However, the more arrogant Guo Ran was, the more excited the Martial Heaven Continent's experts were. Their hatred for the invaders was boundless. In the past, the invaders had caused repeated harm to the continent killing countless experts. Their ancestors had used their own lives to protect them, and the sovereigns had led generation after generation to repel the invaders. It was the Martial Heaven Continent that was always the victim. The experts of the Martial Heaven Continent both hated and feared these invaders. Hence, Guo Ran's domineering display made them cheer in satisfaction. Boss Guo Ran is mighty. Boss Guo Ran is domineering. Boss Guo Ran, we support you. Wipe out these invaders. Eat their flesh and drink their blood as vengeance for our ancestors. The disciples were starting to grow too impassioned, to the point that their elders sternly warned them not to get any closer, worried that they would get impetuous and charge onto the battlefield. It was all too easy for someone to get muddle-hated in this fervor. Guo Ran continued to stand there and look up at the void. Under his armor, 
he had an expression that was almost like crying. This feeling is so good. Everyone's looking at me. Today, I'm the main character of this world. All their cheers are for me. Guo Ran almost had an urge to let out a maniacal roar. This was the grandest moment of his life. Just at this moment, black clouds finished covering the battlefield, and the sovereign sprout was covered in flickering runes. After that, his berserk power caused cracks to appear in the void as if it would explode. Seeing such a phenomenon, the Martial Heaven Continent's experts tensed. Even their cheers dwindled. The Sovereign Sprout extended a hand, making Heaven and Earth shudder. Black energy then condensed into a spear in his hand, and an invisible pressure locked onto Guo Ran. Speak. How do you want to die? The Sovereign Sprout's pupils had turned vertical. They were like the eyes of a viper and icy killing intent flowed out of him. Chapter 2587 Despicable Blood Race The Sovereign Sprout had completely transformed. Under the black clouds, he seemed like the devil king of the night. His aura has completely changed. The martial heaven continent's side was shocked at the overwhelming pressure coming from him. Perhaps this is the true power of a Sovereign Sprout. He has summoned the power of his world to suppress the martial heaven continent. Now, he can unleash his full potential. Despite being worried for Guo Ran, when the Martial Heaven Continent's experts looked at the Dragonblood Legion, they saw that the latter was all calm. They didn't seem the slightest bit nervous. This is my true power, little brat. How do you want to die? Said the Sovereign Sprout sinisterly. Guo Ran looked at him and shook his head. To tell the truth, I wasn't going to embarrass you like this. I was actually going to encourage you so you did a bit better. But I'm getting pretty pissed off that you keep trying to anger me. Let me put it to you this way. The Martial Heaven Continent has 1,597 Sovereign Sprouts. My boss killed one. So there's only 1,596 left. As for you, even the Jarishan that my boss killed was stronger than you. I really don't know how you get so arrogant with this level of power. Where does your confidence come from? The Martial Heaven Continent's experts were dumbfounded. Someone as powerful as Guo Ran actually spouted nonsense without blinking an eye. When had they gained so sovereign sprouts? If they didn't understand the condition of their world well, they would have believed him. Some youngsters who had just entered the cultivation world did actually fall for it and let out cheers. Perhaps they felt that someone as powerful as Guo Ran wouldn't lie. Bullshit. Any world can only have a maximum of nine sovereign sprouts. This is an ironclad rule that has never changed throughout history. If you're going to lie, try to use your brain, sneered the sovereign sprout. There was such a thing? With his lie seen through, Guo Ran didn't even twitch. He sneered. What do you know? The martial heaven continent has changed. Other than my boss being a peerless expert that the world has never seen before, he also managed to break the laws of the world allowing countless other geniuses to soar. I suppose a piece of trash like you wouldn't know about that. Tell me, do I look like a sovereign sprout? And yet, I'm still beating the crap out of you. Right. The sovereign sprout became speechless. Guo Ran was no sovereign sprout, but he possessed such terrifying power. That was truly different from their records of the martial heaven continent's experts. You're just a coincidence. Did you think a stupid set of armor would make you unrivaled? A true expert doesn't rely on external power. The Sovereign Sprout sneered and stepped through the void. With every step, scarlet runes rippled out of the void. It was as if the void was water he was stepping through. Idiot. The power that I can control is my power. There is no such thing as external and internal power. Sneered Guo Ran indifferently. In a clash between experts. Sometimes just words could decide victory. A sharp word could be the key that broke down the other side's mentality. If two sides were evenly matched, then whoever's mental strength was stronger would have a higher chance of winning. All emotions, good or bad, could become negative effects in battle. If the fluctuations were too great, the openings would grow bigger. After fighting the human race for so long, the blood race had long since grasped this weakness of the human race. That was why they often used words to provoke them before the battle. Anger and fear were fatal weaknesses that made the human race unable to make the correct decisions, leaving them open to death. As for this sovereign sprout, he had used such mental warfare on Long Chen and almost been killed. Now that he used it against Guo Ran, 
Kuo Ran was absolutely shameless. All he wanted to do was show off, so his provocations weren't suited for use against him. At this moment, rumbling rang out and pressure crashed down on Guo Ran. Even the blood race's experts felt suffocated by the pressure, so it could be imagined just how much pressure was concentrated on Guo Ran. This fellow is using the laws of their world to suppress Guo Ran. Black Chi world around heaven and earth. This was the power of a sovereign sprout. He had summoned the heavenly deos of his world to suppress his opponent. Your heavenly deos laws are unable to suppress me. In front of me, you're nothing more than a slightly stronger ant. Give it your all. Or if you can't, it doesn't matter. I'm not that picky, said Guo Ran indifferently. The sovereign sprout had originally been walking step by step, but this provocation made him transform into a shooting star crashing toward Guo Ran. He was like a furious lion and his black spear was like the fang of a viper piercing toward Guo Ran's chest. Die. The sovereign sprout was fully enraged. None of his words were able to anger Guo Ran, but he himself had practically gone crazy. The black chi filling the battlefield condensed into his spear in an instant as it stabbed toward Guo Ran. In the face of this berserk attack, a blood-colored saber appeared in Guo Ran's right hand. Multicolored runes lit up on it, illuminating this dark world. At the same time, densely packed runes lit up every inch of Guo Ran's armor. He became like a blazing sun. After that, Guo Ran grasped his saber with both hands. The energy of his runes flowed into his weapon. Using a sovereign sprout's blood as an offering to you isn't that bad. At this moment, Guo Ran was solemn. This saber was his masterpiece. Boom. The instant that the saber and spear clashed, the entire battlefield exploded like shattered crystal. Astral winds wreaked havoc, spreading beyond the battlefield. When they blew past the spectators, they were so strong that it felt like blades were cutting their faces. They were unable to open their eyes. What when the laws of space within the battlefield were restored? They were shocked to find that the Sovereign Sprout was hanging in the air in complete disbelief. The arm that had been holding his spear was gone. Moreover, a saber was piercing his chest, picking him up. His essence blood was rapidly fading, sucked away by the saber. Now do you believe me? The martial heaven continent is different from before. The invaders will die. Every single one of them, said Guo Ran coldly. The martial heaven continent and the yin yang world side were both filled with disbelief. The sovereign sprout had been defeated and had his life in Guo Ran's hands. A fire lit up in Guo Ran's eyes. He really had succeeded. Long Chen had used a special method to draw out all of Guo Ran's potential. Hence, he was now able to unleash immense power with his new armor, and even a sovereign sprout could be defeated in one move. Although this move had used up all the stored energy in his battle armor, it did prove his power. Even someone who wasn't talented in cultivation could reach the peak of the martial path and look down on the so-called geniuses. Suddenly, the void quivered. Chains shot out from eight different directions, instantly binding Guo Ran. After that, eight figures appeared within the void. Release him. Those eight figures were elders of the blood race, and their auras caused the world to shake. They were eight heaven merging experts. It all happened so quickly as if they had been prepared from the start. As soon as Guo Ran obtained victory, he was instantly caught in a trap. Despicable blood race. You're shameless the martial heaven continent side burst into curses. This had clearly been an above-board battle, but they had launched a sneak attack, one involving eight heaven merging experts against someone who was only in the nether passage realm, even bound in those eight chains. Guo Ran sneered, is this the pride of the blood race? After beating one, a group calms? After beating the small one, the big ones calm? Is this the essence of the blood race's martial Dao? Ha ha ha. How fascinating. Even in the face of eight heaven merging experts, Guo Ran was as calm as ever. He didn't show the slightest bit of panic, and he even mocked them. Release him. This battle is your victory. Once you release him, we'll let you go, barked one of the eight elders. Don't try to escape our chains. These are made from our core essence blood. So with just a thought, you will be pulled into eight pieces. You should be grateful that we didn't immediately kill you sneered another. Ha ha ha, your blood race really is stupid. Did you think that I'd believe you? Guo Ran laughed. At this moment, the distant dragon blood warriors summoned their manifestations, but they didn't charge over. 
Don't misunderstand. Even if you kill him, you'll also die. Why not have both sides retreat peacefully said one of the eight elders. Meanwhile, the Sovereign Sprout was terrified and no longer had his old arrogance. He didn't dare to say anything for fear that Guo Ran would kill him with just a thought. I don't like it when both sides retreat. Moreover, I don't like how this one looks. So I have to kill him, said Guo Ran. Don't. The eight chains tightened. However, with a quiver from Guo Ran's saber, the Sovereign Sprout was blasted into bloody mist. A generation Sovereign Sprout was killed just like that. Die. The eight elders roared furiously and their chains erupted with full power. As a result, startled cries rang out from the Martial Heaven Continent's experts. Some of them turned away, not willing to watch as Guo Ran was torn to pieces. Chapter 2588 Terrifying Figure Arrives Boom! A majestic dragon roar that contained the voices of 10,000 dragons rang out. The eight chains were instantly blown apart. You want to kill me, Guo Ran? Do you think you have that power? Guo Ran sneered, wings spread on the back of his armor, and he actually charged at one of the eight elders. What everyone was shocked. They had no idea what had happened. All they had seen was Guo Ran's manifestation erupting with light, along with the roar of 10,000 dragons. Then those eight heaven merging elders were blasted back. They were unaware that Guo Ran's armor was now capable of absorbing even more power. With the Dragon Blood Warriors having undergone the tempering of the Dragon Pool's essence blood, they had gone through a complete transformation as a whole. Their manifestations were now even further linked together. In that instant, all the Dragon Blood Warriors' power surged toward Guo Ran, which was why he dared to be so arrogant as to ignore eight heaven merging experts and still slay their sovereign sprout. Others were unaware of this. And so all they saw was that Guo Ran was capable of ignoring the attacks of eight heaven merging experts on his own. He was even more shocking than Long Chen. The elder that Guo Ran attacked was sent flying and hacked up blood. An opening appeared within their enclosure. Then I won't be accompanying you any longer. Guo Ran laughed and shot out. The amount of power he had just controlled was not sustainable. Such immense power was something his armor could only use once before they had to cool down. Within that period, half the Dragon Blood Warrior's power was used. Guo ran side and side. If he could unleash 70% of the Dragon Blood Warrior's power, perhaps he would have managed to kill one of those eight elders. Then this moment would be even more perfect. Where do you think you're going? The two closest elders blocked his way. Guo ran had killed one of their sovereign sprouts. If they didn't kill him in retribution, that would be a serious blow to the blood race's morale. Not to mention that they would have no way to explain themselves to the higher-ups. Suddenly, the earth exploded and two giant hands reached out, filled with earth energy. They slammed into the two of them, exploding and sending them tumbling back. After that, a spear pierced through the air, stabbing through one of them. Die. The attacker was Gu Yang. The elder didn't even have a chance to cry out before being blasted apart. The earth collapsed and two giants climbed out each holding a warhammer. They attacked the other elder. Save me, shouted the elder. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan's warhammers were smashing toward him like two meteors. The elder's shout was drowned out by a powerful explosion. Everyone shivered. It was like two titans had smashed a fly to death. When the two warhammers separated, the elder was gone, crushed out of existence. All that was left of him was some blood left on the warhammers. Let's go. Gu Yang. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan didn't tarry. They hastily retreated with Guo Ran. The four of them then quickly exited the battlefield, returning to the side of the Martial Heaven Continent. Only then did everyone react. Explosive cheers came from the Martial Heaven Continent's side. He, showing off and then running really is satisfying, said Guo Ran feeling, pleased. Gu Yang and the others nodded along with a smile. It truly had been satisfying. They had escaped before the blood race could use their world divine item. It was stimulating. I almost felt some terrifying thing was about to lock onto us. But we ran fast enough, said Li Qi. We didn't forget to get something extra before running too, added Guo Ran. The four of them exchanged a look and laughed. Seeing that the four of them had killed two heaven merging experts and were still talking cheerfully as if that danger was nothing. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts felt even greater reverence and worship for them. What was an expert? 
This was it. Such monsters were only capable of being united in unswerving loyalty by a monster amongst monsters like Long Chen. Despicable human race. You'll pay a thousandfold for your actions, roared the elder that Guo Ran had previously forced back. You're noisy. Guo Ran snorted and suddenly took out a crossbow. It lit up, and the elder hastily dodged to the side. Explode the void exploded and rays of golden light shot through the air. All of a sudden, the elder let out a miserable cry. His whole body was covered in blood, which then quickly turned black. He pointed at Guo Ran, and his jaws moved a few times, releasing a few strange sounds before he collapsed. Guo Ran put away his crossbow and shook his head. I wish I could be Loki, but my power does not permit it. Another heaven merging expert was killed. Right now, the martial heaven continent side felt like they had used up all their shock. They were starting to grow numb. What was going on? Were these really the legendary heaven merging experts? Why was it that they were unable to endure in front of a few experts of the Dragonblood Legion? Were they useless? Or were Guo Ran and the others too powerful? Amazing. Even Gu Yang. Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan were surprised. The current Guo Ran was so powerful that he felt a bit foreign to them. He, that old fellow was asking for death. If he hadn't opened his mouth, I wouldn't have wanted to kill him. My previous blow left him with quite a serious wound. Thanks to all our brothers. With the power of 10,000 dragons flowing through his veins, his reactions were slowed. He himself was unaware of it until it was too late. Tell me. Don't you think he was asking me to kill him? I had no choice. Guo Ran shrugged helplessly. This explanation made Gu Yang and the others understand. They hadn't expected such a thing to occur after going through the Dragon Pool's baptism. Their combined power now actually had this added benefit. Guo Ran, when did you get so humble? Said Li Qi. He, well this was all thanks to our brothers. Without them, I wouldn't be anything. I'll need more help from my brothers in the future, chortled Guo Ran, the very picture of a petty person who had won. Guo Ran's own power was already extremely great, but with the support of the Dragonblood Warriors, he was practically unrivaled. Guo Ran was almost moved to tears from the feeling of being able to shatter the attacks of eight heaven merging experts. Thinking about it, he felt like he had reached the peak of his life. This humbleness of yours feels a bit strange. Laughed Gu Yang. Guo Ran said. Boss said that matured wheat droops. Only withered wheat is so arrogant as to stand up straight. A full bottle doesn't make noise. Only a half full bottle clatters. Now I finally understand how great the difference between myself and Boss was. I still have a long way to go someone's coming from the blood race. Gu Yang suddenly pointed. Causing Guo Ran to shut his mouth and look. Guo Ran jumped. All the blood race's experts were kneeling. Guo Ran had an urge to say that they were kneeling to him, but when he saw the direction they were facing, he was no longer in the mood. Even the heaven merging elders were kneeling, their faces pale. It seemed that they were terrified. A blood sun appeared from deep within the yin yang world. Right now, screams rang out from the martial heaven continent side as some people's eyes began to bleed. Those below Nether Passage, don't look at that sun. Don't even think about using your souls to sense it either shouted a sect leader. At this moment, the Blood Sun had reached the entrance to the Yun Yang world. It illuminated the battlefield, releasing demonic blood chi that wove through the air like strands of sword chi. Who is that? Guo Ran was shocked. Even before even seeing the person, this aura already filled the battlefield with such pressure that it was hard to breathe. Even though he had accompanied Long Chen in countless battles, he had never seen such a terrifying expert. Gu Yang also turned grave as this aura was horrifying. Most shocking of all, it was still in the Nether Passage realm. In other words, such a terrifying existence had the same cultivation base as them. Even Boss doesn't have such a powerful aura. Just who is it? Li Qi gulped. This aura was something that made others feel so terrified that they couldn't even muster the courage to lift a finger. Seven figures appeared around the Blood Sun and an explosion of startled cries rang out. Seven Sovereign Sprouts. Those seven people's auras were clearly on the level of Sovereign Sprouts. The seven of them respectfully stood to the side, as if welcoming someone. After that, a figure appeared within the Blood Sun. The figure was unclear but seemed to be humanoid and sitting cross-legged. 
Despite that, he still gave off a feeling of unmatched terror. Greetings Devil Lord. The heaven merging elders kowtowed, their voices shuddering. It was unknown if it was from emotion or terror. In an instant, a blood-colored light flew out and five heads flew into the air. Those remaining heaven merging elders were all killed in one move. Chapter 2589 Blood Fiend Devil Lord Wat Guo ran and the others were stunned. The man within the blood sun had killed those five elders with a wave of his hand. Those were five heaven merging experts. They were killed just like that? Just who was this person? Guo ran and the others' hearts pounded wildly. Even though they were currently in the martial heaven continent, they felt ice cold. This person was ruthless. A group of trash. You couldn't even protect one of my guards. What is the point of keeping you? The man within the blood sun finally spoke. His voice was deep and low. However, every word exploded like thunder in people's ears. They were filled with a bloody feeling. Guards. Sovereign Sprouts were his guards? Looking at the other seven Sovereign Sprouts that surrounded him like stars setting off the bright moon, people were even further shocked. Just who was he? He had eight Sovereign Sprouts as guards? Who killed my guard? The man in the blood sun looked over the martial heaven continent, sending shivers down the people's souls. It was as if a devil was gazing at them, and their life and death were within his grasp. This was an existence so powerful that they couldn't even imagine it. Many people involuntarily retreated. Me, Guo Ran was the only one to step forward. His armor covered him and his manifestation appeared. Even standing on the martial heaven continent didn't give him any sense of safety. As soon as he spoke, his hair stood on end. He saw a pair of eyes looking at him from within the blood sun. Those eyes were like ghost flames. As a result, Guo Ran cried and swung his saber. It appeared as if he had seen a ghost and was just randomly swinging his blade. However, a hand suddenly appeared in front of him. The man in the blood sun had appeared in front of Guo Ran. The blood sun floating behind him. Guo Ran's saber was caught between two of his fingers. Fast. Indescribably fast. Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan attacked as soon as they reacted. But they had only just moved when the blood sun suddenly expanded. Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan felt like a mountain had smashed into them, almost shattering their bones. They spat out blood as they flew back. Everyone was appalled. Just who was this man? Even after charging into the martial heaven continent, he was ignoring the suppression of the laws. Gu Yang and the others were so powerful that they could slay heaven merging experts but they appeared incredibly weak in front of him. Human race ants. Learn what respect is. The man reached toward Guo Ran's throat. Guo Ran's saber was caught between two of this man's fingers. It felt like they had taken root, and he couldn't move it in the slightest. This was a terrifying expert. So terrifying that he surpassed their imagination. At this moment, Guo Ran finally understood why even Sovereign Sprouts would be willing to be his guards. The cooldown period has ended. Guo Ran's armor suddenly exploded with light. His saber finally escaped from this man's fingers and slashed onto his hand. Boom. Metallic ringing rang out. His hand seemed made out of immortal metal. As a result, Guo Ran's whole body shook, and his arms felt numb. Even with the full power of the dragon blood warriors, he was unable to even break his opponent's arm. So that's what it was. The combined power of a group of ants truly is enough to kill one of my guards. Snorted the man. Fuck your mother. You're the ant. Guo Ran roared along with the roars of 10,000 dragons. Shaking the heavens. The dragon blood warrior's power poured into Guo Ran. Boom. A wild tempest exploded. As a result, Guo Ran and the blood sun man retreated at the same time. Outside power is external. Once cut off, you become a fangless viper. The man sneered. His blood sun blazed with light. The blood chi connecting Guo Ran and the dragon blood warriors was instantly cut off. Right now, Guo Ran was no longer able to fight with their support. Guo Ran began to panic. This man's blood sun seemed to have isolated him, putting him in a completely different world from the others. Rest in peace. Someone who relies on schemes to win isn't fit to live in this world. A fist smashed toward Guo Ran. The image of a blood sun appeared on the fist. In that instant, Guo Ran was frozen, and the space around him had turned solid. He didn't know whether or not he would survive this attack. Even if his armor could survive, he might not. Hence, 
the feeling of death filled him. Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan charged over. Scram. The man snorted and the blood sun expanded once more. Space was torn apart. Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan were sent tumbling back again. This blood sun possessed a strange power. Gu Yang and the others had no way to counter it. You scram. Just at this moment, an arrogant voice rang out, accompanied by a streak of sword chi. After that, Gu Yang and the others felt the pressure crashing down on them instantly vanish. The man was startled. Even though his fist was about to strike Guo Ran, he hastily retreated. All of a sudden, the void split apart and a cut appeared on the man's arm. Golden blood flowed out. Fourth captain of Long Chen's Dragon Blood Legion, Yu Zifeng. Even though Yu Zifeng's voice rang out in the air, his figure didn't appear. Instead, brilliant sword light continued to tear through the void. In just a breath's time, hundreds of blows were exchanged. At this moment, people finally saw the man's weapon was a golden halberd. Before this, he had been fighting barehanded. It was Yu Zifeng who forced him to take out his divine item. Waves of sword light continued to fill the sky, enveloping the blood sun. It's a good sword art, but you aren't a match for me. Novaloon.com CM The golden halberd suddenly swung through the air, unleashing a blood-colored river of stars. As a result, the sword light filling the sky shattered, and Yu Zifeng's figure finally appeared. The golden halberd then slashed straight toward Yu Zifeng. Not good. Guo Ran and the other's heart sank. Yu Zifeng specialized in offense. He could not receive this attack. Unexpectedly, the earth then split apart, and black wooden stakes pierced through the air. Insignificant the man sneered and blasted the wooden stakes apart with a wave of his hand. At the same time, a towering willow tree appeared in the sky, unleashing countless branches that were piercing toward him like sharp swords. Boom. Wooden stakes from below and willow branches from above smashed together, twisting and turning. That immense power caused heaven and earth to rumble. Boom. The man flew out of the wooden stakes, while the golden halberd shot toward Lu Ruian's true body. Lu Ruian stood it up the willow, forming hand seals. Millions of branches then condensed into a pair of giant hands that closed around him. Bang. The golden halberd was firmly caught by the two hands. I'll give this back to you. Lu Ruian sent the golden halberd flying back toward the man with even greater speed. Boom. The man received his weapon with his bare hands. As a result, the blood sun quivered and the void collapsed. However, he managed to receive it. A surprised expression appeared on his face. The undying race? Why would you appear here? That has nothing to do with you, said Lu Ruian icily. The man suddenly laughed. Divine light flowed in his eyes, seeming to see through everything. The proud undying race was actually willing to have a human place a spiritual mark on them. Did you become a housepit of the human race? Ha ha ha. If the undying race were to learn of this, they definitely die of anger. You know the undying race? Asked Lu Ruian. I have nothing to say to you. Get out of my way. Or don't blame me. The blood fiend devil lord. For being merciless the man finally said his own name. The experts watching finally understood why he was so terrifying. So he was the blood fiend devil lord. Since there's nothing to say. I'll beat it out of you. Everyone else. Retreat. Lu Ruian frowned. Her giant willow explosively grew. Countless roots reached out like angry dragons. And the earth was constantly exploding. After that. A vast aura spread. Looking at this scene. The distant experts retreated even further away. They stared in shock as a giant willow grew all the way until it reached the starry sky. The black clouds covering the martial heaven continent were blown apart by the undying willow's body. It became possible to see the stars in the sky again. They were like fruit hanging between the willow branches. Heavens. The dragon blood legion is absolutely terrifying people's jaws dropped. They had never seen something so big. Lu Ruian suddenly attacked. A black whip appeared in her hand. Striking at the Blood Fiend Devil Lord. Chapter 2590 Fighting the Devil Lord The whip was only a few meters long. But as it struck through the air, the void split apart and an invisible blade sliced through the air. Slashing toward the Blood Fiend Devil Lord. You're the one forcing me to do this. The Blood Fiend Devil Lord snorted and let out a single punch. As a result, the void exploded. And from within it, he pulled out the tip of a whip. 
With a wave of his left hand, the blood fiend Devil Lord dragged Luru Ion's attack from out of the void. Both of them seemed to have transcended the limits of space. HMPH. Luru Ion snorted. Her whip quivered, transforming into a wooden spear. At the same time, countless thorns grew out of it. Upon seeing this attack, the blood fiend Devil Lord's expression changed. He immediately let go of the spear and slashed his golden halberd out. Boom. At some point, Luru Ion's other hand had transformed into a black sword stabbing toward his chest. His golden halberd blocked her strange attack, but multiple bloody holes appeared in his left hand. Luru Ion's wooden thorns were so incredibly sharp that the blood fiend Devil Lord's body, which was able to ignore Guo Ran's attack, couldn't block it. Luru Ion had started awakening the undying Willow Race's divine abilities ever since she had obtained help from the Mother Tree. It could be said that she was the one benefiting the most from their excursion to the Starfield Divine World. Courting death, the pain in his arm finally caused the Blood Fiend Devil Lord to grow angry. The Blood Sun shuddered, and his halberd erupted with divine light. Facing it, the giant willow behind Luru Ion swayed and divine light fell from its branches. Runes condensed into a giant shield before her. Boom. The golden halberd stabbed into a wooden shield, which then exploded and transformed into black spear shooting at the blood fiend devil lord. As soon as the shield stopped the halberd, it switched to a fence. Those wooden spears were like black lightning. Even an armor made of immortal metal would be unable to stop them. Boom. The blood sun shuddered, and a wave of light blasted apart the spears. From within the black splinters that filled the air, a whip struck out like a viper. What quick changes between moves. No wonder she dared to challenge Boss in the Starfield Divine World. Gu Yang and the others were startled by the current Lu Ruian, who was like a goddess of war Guo Ran became covered in sweat. He had originally thought that he had become the strongest existence in the Dragonblood Legion other than his boss. However, he hadn't expected Luru Ion to have hidden her true power to this extent. Every clash of golden and black light caused the world to shake. This was a truly stunning battle. Guo Ran's previous fight was like child's play in comparison. Heavenly Dao energy was being consumed by the giant willow and condensed into black runes that enveloped Luru Ion. At this moment, Guo Ran and the others recognized it as the same state that the mother tree and Ling Shi were in. However, Luru Ion was both beings in one. She had never separated. With the willow absorbing an endless stream of the world's energy for Luru Ion, it could be said that her power would never run out as long as the martial heaven continent's heavenly Tao energy didn't run out. The undying race really is frightening. Fortunately, boss beat her, or we'd have to face such a powerful opponent, said Gu Yang gratefully. Shh, if she heard that, she'd definitely find trouble for boss. This big sister can only be matched by big sister Chu Yao. Speaking of which, Guo Ran hastily turned back. No need to look. We arrived a long time ago. We just didn't reveal ourselves because we wanted to experience Daddy Guo's marvelous display. The void quivered. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, and Cloud all appeared. Even with Guo Ran's thick skin, he felt his face burning. He had an urge to find a place to hide himself. After that, he quickly found a target to vent. Ziffeng, you refused to come with us and then snuck your way over. Ha I wasn't going to come. But when I went to the heavenly sword gate, my master was in seclusion. So I decided to come over. I didn't expect the blood race to have such a terrifying expert. Said Yu Ziffeng. Dong Mingyu looked at the blood sun gravely. That blood sun is strange. Within the divine inheritance of the Blood Kill Hall, there seems to be something similar to it, but I'm not quite clear on it. This Blood Sun seems to represent some world's strongest laws. This Blood Fiend Devil Lord is probably an existence with the entire world's karmic luck concentrated within him. That's why he can enter the Martial Heaven Continent without being suppressed by its laws. It was no wonder this fellow dared to charge out, while his seven sovereign sprout guards stayed in the Yun Yang world. How can there be such a heaven-defying existence? Can't he just charge onto the martial heaven continent? Asked Gu Yang. Dong Mingyu shook her head. No. His blood sun is like a divine item with its own energy stores. He can resist the laws of the martial heaven continent for however long that energy holds up. Once that energy is exhausted, he'll be in danger. 
so he won't stay for too long. At the very least, before the Yin Yang world's aura fully infects the martial heaven continent, his blood son's energy is not limitless despite only having the appearance of a girl between 13 and 14 years old. Dong Mingaya was a divine daughter with a god's inheritance. She knew more than most people. Boom. Suddenly, the blood sun's light grew explosively, blasting apart Lu Ruyan's attacks. Even the black runes surrounding her crumbled. The blood fiend devil lord is drawing out the power of the blood sun to face big sister Ruyan. We should fight together. Dong Mingayu's figure suddenly vanished. Die. The blood fiend devil lord roared, along with the roar of 10,000 beasts from within his blood sun. Following that, a golden halberd appeared in the blood sun, and two halberds slashed toward Lu Ruyan. The halberd of the blood sun contained the aura of a whole world. Hence, the martial heaven continent's laws were blasted apart in front of it. Endless falling wood, sky holding shield, a wooden staff appeared in the air. It looked incredibly unremarkable, but as Chu Yao formed hand seals, countless runes lit up on it. Wooden stakes appeared in midair, weaving together. With the wooden staff as the core, millions of wooden stakes twisted into a giant shield. At the same time, boundless life energy thrummed through the air. This wooden staff was a gift Len Yuan had given to Chu Yao, and Chu Yao had been nourishing it with her soul ever since, due to her low cultivation base. She had previously been unable to draw out its full power. However, with the help of the mother tree, this divine item had finally awoken. The world's life energy was now hers to control. Boom. The giant shield was blown back by the giant halberd. Countless cracks appeared on it. However, as life energy circulated through it, the cracks quickly healed. Oh. The blood fiend devil lord was surprised to see that this shield could block his attack. His halberd's energy was slowly ground down. A mantis trying to stop a chariot. Laughable. The blood fiend devil lord's blood sun shook, and a divine diagram appeared within it. This diagram was of an endless world containing countless living creatures. Boom. Chu Yao's shield finally exploded. After that, the golden halberd continued piercing toward Lu Ruyan. It was as if Chu Yao's shield hadn't managed to weaken it at all. At this moment, the void twisted, and a phoenix charged toward the blood fiend devil lord. As the phoenix cried out, everyone's souls quivered. This was a spiritual attack. You dare take out such an insignificant trick against me. The blood fiend devil lord sneered. A spiritual sword then shot out of his head. This meant that the blood fiend devil lord was actually skilled in soul arts. His spiritual sword had blood-colored specks of light on it. Most likely not a pure soul art but something mixed with his blood chi. Boom. The phoenix exploded instantly, startling the blood fiend devil lord. The phoenix was much weaker than he had anticipated. In that brief moment of confusion, the phoenix exploded into butterflies that filled the sky. With every flap of their wings, divine light turned the world into a wonderland. It was a scene of such beauty that it intoxicated people. Not good. The blood fiend devil lord's expression changed. He instantly realized that the fierce attack was nothing more than bait. The true attack lay in an illusion art. The instant those butterflies appeared in his sight, his spiritual energy began to fade away. The blood fiend devil lord bit his tongue, using the pain to wake himself up. The brief moment of confusion had caused his giant halberd to vanish. Multiple attacks were now falling on him. Menki's spiritual swords. Chu Yao's wooden stakes, Tang Wanner's wind blades, Lu Ruyan's whip, Yi Zhikyu's ice sword, Gu Yang's spear, Yu Zifeng's sword Qi, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan's earth giants were concentrating all their power on him in one world shaking blow. Chapter 2591 The terrifying blood fiend devil lord even if you all fight together. So what the blood fiend devil lord let out a devilish roar. A giant eye suddenly appeared in his blood sun. The eye popped open like an ancient beast had been awoken. After that, endless chains shot out of the blood sun, wrapping around the blood fiend devil lord and then spreading in every direction. Not good. Gu Yang and the others let out startled cries. That energy was not something a human could fight against. Those chains contained the energy of an entire world. Boom. Their attacks were blasted apart, and every one of them coughed up blood. Blood sun illuminates the world. Blood dragons devour the heavens. The blood fiend devil lord's blood chi ignited. 
and his power erupted like a volcano. The chains transformed into blood dragons that attacked Menchi and the others. Taking advantage of when they were injured, he intended to wipe them all out. Dragon blood cross slash. Just as the dragons flew out, Guo Ran slashed his sabers. Dragon roars resounded throughout the world. This was the concentrated power of all the dragon blood warriors. A giant cross wreaked havoc through the void as it shot toward the blood fiend devil lord. Fragments of spastime flew through the air. The blood fiend devil lord's expression changed. He had actually forgotten about Guo Ran. This fellow he had viewed as insignificant was unleashing such a powerful attack at this critical moment. Right now, his chains had only just scattered, and he didn't have time to pull them back for offense. Hence, his energy poured into the golden halberd. Boom. With no other choice, the blood fiend devil lord was forced to receive Guo Ran's attack. Huge waves erupted in the void, spreading throughout the entire battlefield. Guo Ran's body trembled, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. As for the blood fiend devil lord, he was forced back several steps, every step causing the land to collapse. In the end, he couldn't stop himself from spitting out a mouthful of blood. He was injured, even his blood sun dimmed slightly, and the eye within it vanished. Just as he spat out blood, a dagger silently appeared behind him, stabbing toward his heart, courting death. The blood fiend devil lord roared furiously. The runes on his body suddenly flew out. Dong Mingyu's figure was revealed, and she was sent flying by those runes. An unhealthy rosiness appeared on her face just before she vanished once more. Just at this moment, the blood dragons that the blood fiend devil lord had sent out were met by endless willow branches. Explosions rang out as the willow branches exploded along with the blood dragons. The towering willow instantly became bare. The stars were fully revealed as Luru Ion used up every last one of her branches to block the blood dragons, leaving only a trunk. Menchi and the others were horrified. Luru Ion had been forced to use up all of her branches to block that attack. Without Luru Ion, they probably wouldn't have survived it. Count yourselves lucky this time. The next time I step onto the Martial Heaven continent will be a bloody baptism for your human race. The blood fiend devil lord sneered and retreated back into the yin yang world. The martial heaven continent's experts were silent. This blood fiend devil lord was absolutely terrifying. There was no way to match him. The dragon blood legion was already so powerful, and yet their strongest experts were unable to beat him. His arrival cast a shadow on their hearts. He was so powerful that it invoked despair. He had yet to even set foot into the heaven merging realm. Once he did, would there be anyone who could stop him? You should count yourself lucky. If our boss was here, you wouldn't be leaving alive, sneered Guo Ran, refusing to come out as the weaker party. HMPH, Long Chen, I'll kill him next time. You small fry should scram. You should celebrate getting to keep your worthless lives for now, snorted the blood fiend devil lord. With a quiver from his blood son, the seven sovereign sprouts hastily appeared behind him and they all vanished. The blood race's experts also left, but they didn't forget to say such mocking and intimidating words to the martial heaven continent side before leaving. How regretful. We were lacking one supreme expert. If Long Chen was here, or maybe Mo Nian, he wouldn't be able to leave. Dong Mingyu appeared once more, her face pale. Guo Ran's dragon blood cross slash drained most of his energy and gave him quite the injury. He truly is powerful. I didn't get to fully activate my god curse energy before being forced back by him, or he'd be dead. He might look powerful, but he only left because he ran out of energy. If Long Chen or Mo Nian was here stopping him, we would have had a high chance of killing him. Regretfully, Wild is still sleeping. If he was here as well, we might have succeeded. Dong Mingyu was also injured, but she felt regretful that they hadn't killed him. They had just been the slightest bit away from it. Men Chi smiled comfortingly and wiped some blood off of Dong Mingyu's face. That blood belonged to the Blood Fiend Devil Lord. The Blood Fiend Devil Lord has an entire world's karmic luck concentrated within him, so we can't rely on luck to kill him. He belongs to Long Chen, not us. You don't have to feel conflicted about it. Isn't it better to leave him to Long Chen? That's right. Boss will definitely knock his teeth out, said Guo Ran confidently. HMPH. If he weren't so slippery, there would be no need for Long Chen. 
I would have exhausted him to death myself, said Lu Ruian stubbornly. Meng Qi and Chu Yao exchanged a smile. Lu Ruian was particularly stubborn when it came to Long Chen. Lu Ruian was truly powerful. If the blood fiend devil lord had continued fighting, then considering her undying body, she really might have been able to defeat him. However, defeating him was a different concept from killing him. He wouldn't be so foolish as to continue fighting here when he couldn't win. Sister Ruian's power truly is amazing. We got to witness the undying race's power. You were our main force this time, said Meng Chi. That's true. Sister Ruian was our protector this time. You're definitely much more reliable than Long Chen, praised Tang Wan'er. As expected, Lu Ruian's expression finally softened slightly. She had a suppressed smile like she didn't want to smile but couldn't help it, and it gave a much warmer feeling considering how icy she was. Why didn't any peak experts come? Only now did Guo Ran realize that not one person on the level of Mo Nian, Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, Hu Fang, or Yun Tian had come despite the huge disturbance. Do you think everyone is so bored? Most people are still in seclusion in preparation for the heaven merging realm. The alliance had even said that we must be prepared for this breakthrough, said Meng Qi. The Dragonblood Legion had only managed to fully prepare thanks to the resources provided by Long Chen. They had already reached the peak of Nether Passage. Many experts were busy making preparations for a perfect breakthrough. However, the Dragonblood Legion didn't need to have that thought. That was because every time they underwent seclusion, there was always Long Chen controlling it. They had always had a 100% success rate at tribulation, so they had no need to worry about that. It was only when Meng Chi mentioned it that they recalled not everyone was like them, treating tribulations as a simple affair. After all, even Empyreans could fail a tribulation. As soon as that danger appeared, there would be nothing else that they could do. That was why they made so many preparations beforehand. They weren't like them. How regretful. If more of them had come, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord wouldn't have been able to escape so easily. He would need to leave a bit behind at least said Guo Ran. His unprecedented show-off act had been disturbed by the Blood Fiend Devil Lord. He had become the main character, while Guo Ran was reduced to a secondary character, irritating him. Ah, I'm so stupid. Guo Ran suddenly slapped his leg. What is it? asked Gu Yang. It's nothing. I should have invited some of the peak experts in advance, said Guo Ran. In truth, that wasn't what he was thinking. He had just recalled how Long Chen had said that the blood race was weak to poison. Perhaps he could have used some of his mechanisms to instantly poison the blood fiend devil lord. Then they might have been able to deal a serious blow to him. In his weakened state, they would have had a chance to kill him. However, he couldn't say that, or he would be looked down on for forgetting such an important detail. It was better to keep this failure to himself. Ling Shen, the blood fiend devil lord has appeared. There's no need to have so many experts standing guard here, said Meng Chi. Yi Lingxian nodded. If it weren't for the Dragonblood Legion being here, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord could have wiped out all the defenders all by himself. However, it also wasn't possible to leave such an important defensive point unguarded. Leave a smaller number of people here as a formality more than anything else. The Blood Race won't be launching any large-scale attacks anytime soon. Although the Blood Fiend Devil Lord has his blood son, he can't stay in the Martial Heaven Continent for long. Furthermore, with his status, he won't be taking action against so few people, said Guo Ran. Yi Lingxian thought about it and nodded. Hence, she withdrew 80% of the people guarding this place. Just as Yi Lingxian was arranging this, within a deep ravine of the Yun Yang world, the Blood Fiend Devil Lord suddenly coughed up three mouthfuls of blood causing his seven sovereign sprouts to jump in shock. Chapter 2592 The Wolf God's Egg Devil Lord Seeing the Devil Lord coughing up some blood, the seven sovereign sprouts cried out in shock. The Devil Lord was an unrivaled existence in their minds, but he had actually been injured. At this moment, the blood that he spat out instantly froze, and a terrifying ice chi somehow covered the valley in ice, stunning the seven sovereign sprouts. That woman's sword is a world divine item. Although she can't use its full power, my own energy automatically provoked a trace of its energy. TCH. 
If it weren't for that world divine item, they would have all died, said the blood fiend Devil Lord darkly. Devil Lord, your back is injured, said one of the sovereign sprouts. There was a wound on his back that was still bleeding. These people were his followers, and they knew just how terrifying he was. However, they had never seen him injured before. Right now, black blood was constantly flowing out of that wound, and it emitted a dense sinister aura. It was that assassin girl's dagger. It contains a god's curse, so be careful around her. If you get stabbed, your essence blood will bleed out in an instant. However, that god is no big figure to be feared. It is that eye sword that is troublesome. Tell everyone not to rashly make any moves. Once the martial heaven continent is fully infected by our world's aura, we will settle things with the human race, said the blood fiend Devil Lord. Yes, Devil Lord, isn't just waiting bad for our morale, asked one of them. The blood fiend Devil Lord snorted. That thinking of yours is very foolish. Do you know why I killed those old fellows? It's because they were just as stupid. Giving a show of power to the martial heaven continent is meaningless. The continent has reached the end of its lifespan, and they are at their wit's end. Those old fellows of the martial heaven continent are definitely aware of this. Moreover, the most frightening thing about the human race is their unity. A powerful enemy will only cause them to band together. Unless you have enough power to cause absolute despair, there's no point in provoking them. Those old fellows were foolish to that extent. If it weren't for their bloodlines, I'd even suspect that they were spies from the human race trying to raise the human race's morale. But I didn't think that you are also that stupid. If you weren't my guard, I'd kill you as well. Even after following me for so many years, you haven't grown a brain. That sovereign sprout turned pale with terror. After that, he hastily knelt down and kowtowed in apology. The other guards were silent as well. Is there any movement from the wolf god's egg? Asked the blood fiend devil lord. Reporting to the devil lord, the wolf god's egg is exceptionally active at the moment. The ancestral runes are being absorbed. Therefore, it is most likely receiving the inheritance and will quickly break out of its shell. Reported one of the sovereign sprouts. Good. I have high expectations for a wolf god incubated for over a hundred thousand years. The blood fiend devil lord smiled. He suddenly rose. My source energy was damaged, and I need to recover. During my absence, go find another sovereign sprout. After Shueka died, a new sovereign sprout will be born. Find him. Yes. All the sovereign sprouts nodded. Looking content, the blood fiend devil lord vanished with a quiver of his blood sun. After that, the sovereign sprouts quickly got to work. Deep within the yin yang world, within a deep valley surrounded by mountains. A giant egg that was thrumming with blood chi could be seen. The void around it was filled with cracks and flying runes. Wild lightning, wind blades, and burning flames crackled around it. The shell of the egg had reached a semi-transparent state. From the outside, it was vaguely possible to see a curled up, snow-white figure. A scarlet ball of light on its forehead was pulsing like fire. As it slumbered within the egg, the runes outside were absorbing the world's energy for it. The runic chains within the egg were sending it an unending current of energy. Despite still being asleep, with every breath it took, the laws of heaven and earth moved with it. It was as if it was a slumbering god who could bring forth destruction upon worlds once it awoke. At this moment, the news of the Dragonblood Legion's battle against the Blood Fiend Devil Lord instantly spread throughout the Martial Heaven continent. All the main characters of the Dragonblood Legion had appeared other than Long Chen but they still couldn't stop the blood fiend devil lord from retreating. Because of this, he instantly became the continent's nightmare. Even the people's confidence in Long Chen was shaken by the blood fiend devil lord. That was just how powerful he was. The blood fiend devil lord could charge onto the continent and fight the top experts of the dragon blood legion. He was then able to safely retreat. Since this was the case, there was no way to describe just how terrifying he was. In comparison, Long Chen had been forced to rely on Daoist Heavenly Feather's protection when he had entered the Yin Yang world. Just that one bit of fact made quite a few people assume that Long Chen was not a match for the Blood Fiend Devil Lord. Most importantly, the seal on Devil Spirit Mountain was slowly fading, and the Devil Chi inside was starting to flow onto the continent as well. The Divine Families had vanished without a word. 
It was impossible to tell what they were thinking. Perhaps Long Chen had infuriated them and they did not wish to interfere in the matters of the Martial Heaven Continent any longer. In any case, the people of the Martial Heaven Continent felt very anxious. Despite that, Long Chen did not show himself. Boom. In the rear mountains of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, everything had been turned into a desert of sand and gravel. How many times have I told you? You have to control your anger. You can only unleash your power once it stabilizes. Or if you only seek greater power, it will cause damage to your own body. When the wounds that you cannot sense slowly accumulate over time, you'll be a cripple before you even reach a hundred years old, roared the old man until his throat felt hoarse. It was unknown how many times he had shouted. Within the flying sand and dust was Long Chen who was wielding Evil Moon. He was facing the old man. In the distance, Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and the seven bosses were lying in the sand, too tired to move, even as the wind half buried them with sand. They didn't twitch. They were all too exhausted as the training with the old man had been hellish. They felt like their bodies would simply fall apart at any moment. Of them all, only Long Chen was still standing. Even the old man was panting like an old bull. Long Chen felt a bit helpless. I really can't. Just let me do it like this. I have a different cultivation technique. So I can't reach that balance. If I get some hidden wounds, then fine. I have my own ways to recover. I feel like I've gotten a sense of the ninth form of split the heavens. My path is different than yours. So don't make things hard on me. Long Chen cultivated the nine star hegemon body art. The most domineering and direct cultivation technique. Although the battle god sacred canon was similar to it. There was a trace of softness within it. And that was the crux for the ninth form of split the heavens. It was what prevented a giant backlash from killing the user. As for the nine star hegemon body art, it lacked any such softness. Every attack was an all out attack. After a long time, even a body of metal would break apart from such a thing. As an example, whether Astonomason was using a wooden or metal hammer, there had to be some flexibility, some elasticity. This softness was what allowed the hammer to break stone over and over again. Without that softness, Every attack would damage oneself, which meant the more power that Long Chen used, the greater the backlash. That was not how the ninth form of split the heavens should be used, and that was why the old man was angry and anxious. How can a man simply accept such drivel? Little Bao, get over here and demonstrate. I refuse to believe that I can't teach you this, shouted the old man. Boss Bao's body twitched in the sand. He raised his head, almost crying. Old man, spare us. It's been three days. Can you at least let us stay alive and keep breathing? In order to teach Long Chen this softness, not only had Long Chen been forced to endure the old man's harsh teachings, but Boss Bao and the others had become teaching instruments, with the old man constantly using them to get Long Chen to learn. As a result, Boss Bao and the others had fallen into an endless hell. Every time they used the ninth form of Split the Heavens, they exhausted themselves. Even after they had all demonstrated once, Long Chen hadn't learned anything. As for the old man, he refused to give up. Stop wasting words. Get up. If an old man like me can stay standing, aren't you embarrassed to be lying down? Demanded the old man. You have the heaven splitting blade. You're not even using 5% of the energy we're using. Aren't you embarrassed to say such a thing? If you want. Give me the heaven splitting blade and we'll see who is too tired to stand. Raged Boss Bao. You. You're looking for a beating. Hm the old man was at a loss for words. It truly was the heaven splitting blade that allowed him to stay standing so easily. Don't waste the effort. Long Chen cannot use this kind of soft energy because his nine star hegemon body art will not allow any sense of retreat. Finally. Evil Moon spoke up again. Impossible. Once reaching the limit of one extreme. The only direction is to go back. There are no absolutes in this world. Softness and hardness intertwine. Without softness, there is no hardness, said the old man, refusing to believe this. The nine star hegemon body art is precisely like that. If Long Chen tries to find a roundabout way because he's afraid of being injured, it will be a betrayal to the essence of the nine star hegemon body art. Even Long Chen's character has been affected by that cultivation technique to this extent. 
Are you not clear on that? Don't waste time, said Evil Moon indifferently. Reporting to Sect Master, the Alliance head has come and wishes to speak to you. She says that there's something important to discuss. Just at this moment, a disciple of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect ran over. Chapter 2593 Silently provoking a calamity hearing that it was the Alliance head. Boss Bao and the others immediately felt like winter had passed and spring had come. Their salvation was at hand. The old man was forced to stop and bring everyone back to the heaven-splitting battle sect. Whereupon they saw Kujin Ying had come with Mo Nian. Mo Nian, aren't you supposed to be in seclusion? Why are you here? Asked Long Chen. Mo Nian's expression was odd. He worked his jaw a few times before finally sighing. It's hard to explain in a few words. Did you cause some calamity again? Asked Long Chen curiously. You really are a good pair. You guessed it in one go. This little bastard actually snuck his way into the corrupt god cemetery. Hu Jin Ying glared at Mo Nian. Damn. How could you do such a thing? What kind of time is it for this nonsense? Raged Long Chen. Well, Mo Nian was a bit embarrassed. Don't give me some bullshit excuses. The Martial Heaven Continent is in crisis. Devil Spirit Mountain and the Yin Yang World can invade at any moment. Scolded Long Chen. Hu Jin Ying nodded at this. Although Long Chen was mischievous, he knew about the big picture at important times. At such a time, you actually went grave robbing in the corrupt god cemetery by yourself? Why didn't you call me? Didn't we discuss that already? Raged Long Chen. I'll beat you both. Just as she thought that Long Chen was actually somewhat reliable, he took a sudden turn. What happened? Asked the old man quickly, pulling Ku Jin Ying to his side. Let him tell it. Hu Jin Ying glared at Mo Nian. Mo Nian obediently explained. In truth, Long Chen had wrongly accused him. Mo Nian truly had come to look for Long Chen. But since Long Chen was in the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, it was clear that he was training in the ninth form of Split the Heavens. So after realizing what Long Chen was doing, Mo Nian decided against disturbing him. After that, he snuck into the corrupt God Cemetery by himself. With his years of experience, the corrupt path's restrictions were unable to stop him. He entered the inner cemetery without anyone the wiser. In the end, he reached the same place that Long Chen had reached back then. However, Mo Nian didn't go look at the corrupt emperor guarding this place. Instead, he stealthily opened one of the stone coffins, only to find that it was empty. Most shocking of all, based on his experience, the coffin had only been opened recently. At that time, he even suspected that someone had robbed this place before him. But then thinking about it, he didn't think it was very likely. Perhaps they had been moved by the corrupt path. Upon closer examination, he found an underground passageway. On the other side of it was a world of darkness. It was an ancient city filled with ghostly chi. The aura of rot and decay was everywhere. That aura alone was toxic. The toxicity was low enough that Mo Nian was able to endure it. Hence, he snuck inside, finding countless bones. But when he reached the inner city, he saw countless resentful spirits. There were humans, beasts, and all kinds of races. They were corpses, but their withered eyes still contained a terrifying light. They possessed their own consciousness. However, after becoming resentful spirits, they didn't attack each other. They had sharp senses and Mo Nian was almost noticed by them several times. It was at this moment that Mo Nian realized that he had entered the most mysterious of the continent's seven danger zones, Resentful Death City. The entrance was within the corrupt god cemetery. Mo Nian carefully scouted the city, but it was so big that it was hard to believe. The feeling that Mo Nian got was that the city was no smaller than the central plains. The closer he got to the heart of the city, the stronger the auras of the resentful spirits. At first, there was only the occasional existence that had reached the heaven merging realm. But then he saw more and more of them. Mo Nian was truly terrified upon realizing this. There were countless resentful spirits sitting here, silent. Sometimes they would sense him and rise, forcing him to hide. At one moment, he was surrounded by dozens of resentful spirits that had reached the heaven merging realm. If he was noticed, there was no way he would be able to leave alive. He might even be joining their ranks if he was killed here. Throughout the city, 
He also noticed quite a few disciples wearing robes of the divine families that had also become resentful spirits. The legends had to be true. Those that died here would be transformed into resentful spirits, essentially puppets without their own will. Mo Nian thought about fleeing several times due to the danger, but it had been difficult enough to get to this point. If he didn't get a look at the heart of the city, it would be a waste. Mo Nian then bravely entered deeper. However, he was disappointed to see that the inner gates were closed shut. He didn't dare to use his spiritual yuan to open them, or he would disturb the resentful spirits. The majority of the resentful spirits in this city had reached the heaven merging realm, some with auras so powerful that he didn't dare to get close to them. Just their auras alone were enough to make his soul feel a stabbing pain. Those resentful spirits had surpassed his understanding. They might not just be in the heaven merging realm. Any one of them could destroy him with a wave of their hand. After scouting the city, he found an ancient python whose body was badly corroded. Moreover, it wasn't a resentful spirit but a true corpse. It had crawled up the wall. So Mo Nian carefully climbed up its back. When he reached the top of the walls, he almost let out a muffled cry. He saw thousands of thousands of resentful spirits bound by chains. And at the end of those chains was an altar with coffins lying on it. At the center of those coffins sat a person, and it was this person that made Mo Nian almost shout. It was the corrupt Paf Xi Ming. He was seated cross-legged, and the auras of the resentful spirit swirled around him. He seemed to be cultivating. Just as Mo Nian saw him, Yi Ming's eyes suddenly opened. As a result, Mo Nian shot an arrow without a second thought, and without looking to see if it landed, he fled. The arrow was sucked into a twisting void when it was a few meters away from Yi Ming, devoured by some mysterious energy. Because of all the commotions, all the resentful spirits in the city were awoken, and they charged at Mo Nian. At that moment, Mo Nian had fled in the earth splitting divine shuttle. He dug through the earth, but he was immediately locked onto by a terrifying aura and was dragged out of the ground. Just as Mo Nian thought that he was definitely dead. A sovereign seal appeared in the sky. However, just as it appeared, it exploded, transforming into divine runes that illuminated the city. Those resentful spirits cried out, terrified of the light. Using this chance, Mo Nian immediately fled. However, those runes quickly dimmed, and the resentful spirits once more chased after him. At this time, Mo Nian finally managed to reach the corrupt god cemetery. However, those resentful spirits had no intention of letting him off so easily. The passageway behind him almost blew apart as they followed him into the corrupt god cemetery. Fortunately, upon entering the corrupt god cemetery, their speed was impacted. They seemed suppressed and their speed dropped. Delighted by this, Mo Nian fled out of the corrupt god cemetery. Although a giant mass of resentful spirits followed, as soon as they left the corrupt god cemetery, they began to scream and burn, white smoke coming from their bodies. Under those circumstances, they quickly returned to the corrupt god cemetery. Some were too slow and didn't manage to retreat, so they were turned to dust. Looking at this, Mo Nian sighed with relief, but before long, his heart tightened once more. The entrance to the corrupt god cemetery was no longer silent. A corrosive aura was pouring out of it and infecting the martial heaven continent slowly withering the trees and vegetation in the surroundings. After that, Black Chi began to spread in that space along with some resentful spirits, which then roared at Mo Nian. Mo Nian immediately realized that he had inadvertently opened the gates to resentful Death City. Its aura was now leaking onto the martial heaven continent. Once it infected the continent, these resentful spirits would also be able to run rampant everywhere. Thinking of that, Mo Nian felt a chill and ran over to Ku Jinying. After explaining, she immediately brought Mo Nian to Long Chen. This matter was too big. This can't be blamed on Mo Nian. It's a good thing to have this exposed as early as possible. The corrupt path has had control over resentful Death City for all this time. That's clearly a scheme, and Yi Ming is very likely the key to activating it. Perhaps this is why Yan Tian discarded everything else and only focused on killing Yi Ming, said Long Chen. Long Chen wasn't saying this just to stand up for Mo Nian. Although he hadn't gone to resentful Death City, Ku Jinying had told him that there were only two entrances to it. 
one lay with the divine families, while one lay with the corrupt path. As for the divine families' entrance, it only gave them access to the outer regions. The fact that Mo Nian appeared right inside the city when he came from the corrupt path's entrance already showed the problem. As for why the corrupt path had dragged the inner coffins of the corrupt god cemetery into resentful death city, that was a hair-raising question. In any case, the corrupt path had some secret when it came to resentful death city, and Mo Nian had taken the first step to expose it. Before this, Hu Jinying was afraid that the corrupt path would open the gates of resentful death city and unleash the resentful spirits on the continent. Now it seemed that the corrupt path's goal was even worse. They might already be able to control all of resentful death city. Why would there be a sovereign seal in resentful death city? Asked the old man after a long moment of silence. This was truly inexplicable. Was it some other sovereign? The sovereign's methods are beyond comprehension. What will come will come eventually. Long Chen turned to Mo Nian with a mischievous smile. Great sage Mo Nian, I wonder if you've made any gains on your archaeological trip this time? Don't you think? You should share. A bandit never leaves empty-handed. Mo Nian smiled, feeling pleased with himself. The old man and Ku Jinying stared in dumbfounded silence as Mo Nian took out a bag and emptied it. The two of them couldn't believe their eyes. Chapter 2594 Autumn Water Divine Sword The bag Mo Nian was holding was a cosmos bag. From it, he took out one large object after another. The crystal core of a 13th rank magical beast. The scarlet dragon rhinoceros this crystal bone. Its rune contains a terrifying water energy. Is it from the primordial Kun race? This sword. It's so sharp. This forging method has long since been lost. I want it. Seeing the various treasures. Hu Jinying was astonished. There were crystal cores. Crystal bones. Weapons. Books. And all kinds of treasures of incalculable value. You can pick from these. Just leave me some so I can equip the disciples of Mogate. Said Mo Nian magnanimously. Long Chen. What are you looking at me like that for? Demanded Mo Nian. Long Chen's smile. Which was not a smile. Made him feel a bit guilty. Don't bring out these useless things. The Alliance head has helped you out. And you bring out this broken sword for her? Aren't you embarrassed said Long Chen disdainfully. Hu Jinying was startled and then looked at Mo Nian. With no way around this, Mo Nian clapped his head and feigned sudden realization. Aya, that's right. If you didn't remind me, I would have forgotten. I specifically picked out a treasure for you, Alliance head. I'm just too forgetful. Mo Nian then offered up an ancient sword with both hands to Ku Jinying. There was quite a bit of dust and rust on this sword, and it looked like it was breaking down. Despite that, a sharp aura came from it, and even through its sheath, they could sense the murderous aura that condensed from it having killed countless powerful life forms. After that, Ku Jinying carefully received the sword and looked at the old man. Only when the old man nodded did Ku Jinying finally begin to unsheath it. When just three inches of the blade was revealed, a sharp aura caused the palace that they were in to quiver, and black threads appeared around the blade. Those threads were the sword's sharpness slicing the void. Although they were both prepared, Hu Jinying and the old man still jumped in shock. This sword was absolutely terrifying. Autumn water. The sword slowly calmed down, allowing them to see the words on it. After that, Hu Jinying and the old man let out a startled cry together. The Nine Yang Sword Sect's founding ancestor, Li Kishu's, personally forged weapon, the Autumn Water Divine Sword. Mo Nian asked, Is this sword very famous? Hu Jinying solemnly said, Very much so. Senior Li Kishu was a behemoth of the sword Dao who once followed Sovereign Zi Yang. When the Dark Era fell upon that generation, Li Kishu led her disciples to slaughter countless invaders. However, it is said that she and her disciples were trapped in an evil formation and perished. After hearing that news, without exception, all her disciples threw themselves into the battlefield. In the end, although the Martial Heaven Continent won, not a single member of the Nine Yang Sword sect survived, and a vast legacy was lost just like that. Their actions shook the entire world, and afterward Sovereign Zi Yang led a three-month memorial for the Nine Yang Sword Sect it can be said that Senior Kishu is a model example for us. So seeing her sword is extremely moving. 
Jianying then placed the autumn water divine sword at the top of the palace and kowtowed to it, followed by the old man. They were filled with reverence for this righteous and heroic senior. The people in their generation grew up hearing stories of her. At this moment, Hu Jianying's eyes were even red from emotion. Seeing their reaction, Mo Nian didn't quite know what to do. Should he kneel as well or not? However, when he saw Long Chen just standing there, he decided to just follow his act. In the end, Hu Jianying didn't scold them as their lives were just different. They didn't know as much as her about the history and couldn't fathom the feelings of the older generation. Long Chen, this autumn water divine sword is a priceless weapon. Although it can't compare to the five supreme divine items, below those five, not many divine items can endure a single attack from it. You should give it to Yu Zifeng. Like that, this sword would land in the right hands. After kowtowing, Hu Jianying reverently passed the autumn water divine sword to Long Chen. Long Chen shook his head. Zifeng does not rely on the sharpness of his sword to win. His path is different from other sword cultivators. Yu Zifeng had always declined when Long Chen offered to find him a powerful divine sword. He said that his destined sword had yet to appear. Perhaps his pursuit for that destined sword was part of his cultivation path. That was why Yu Zifeng always used ordinary swords. In addition, sometimes swords would automatically leap into his hands and only then would he replace his old one. Because of this peculiarity, although this autumn water divine sword was a priceless treasure, Long Chen was sure that Yu Zifeng wouldn't want it. All right, then I'll give it to Ling Shen. She will carry out Senior Kishu's will. Hu Jianying respectfully put away the autumn water divine sword and then turned to Mo Nian. Where did you find this autumn water divine sword? It was in a pile of bones near the core of the city. There was one particular skeleton seated cross-legged with this sword resting on its knees. I didn't know that it was Senior Li Kishu, but when I took the sword, her corpse turned to dust, said Mo Nian awkwardly. He didn't know if Hu Jianying would curse him for blaspheming a senior. Hu Jianying nodded. She sighed. Senior had her own spirit, and she entrusted her sword to you. Was Senior Li Kishu killed because of resentful death city? Asked the old man suddenly. Hu Jianying's expression changed. The story said that Li Kishu was surrounded by invaders and fell into one of their domains before vanishing. But Mo Nian had found her in Resentful Death City. There are definitely some secrets in Resentful Death City. Mo Nian only survived thanks to the Remnant Sovereign Seal. If we think about it, for a sovereign to seal Resentful Death City, he must have had his reasons. If Senior Kishu was Sovereign Zi Yang's follower and her corpse was found in Resentful Death City, it implies that she was trapped and died there. Then looking at it from another angle, doesn't it mean that there was no Sovereign Seal over Resentful Death City when she died? If that's the case, then it's clear who left the Sovereign Seal, said Long Chen. You mean it was left by Sovereign Zi Yang? Hu Jianying and the old man were startled. This analysis didn't have much to base itself on but it was reasonable. If we want proof, it's simple. Mo Nian, take out a few hundred treasures. We can investigate what part of history they're from, said Long Chen. Hu Jianying and the old man stared at Mo Nian in shock. After that, Mo Nian cursed Long Chen. That's easy for you to say. Where am I supposed to get a few hundred of them? Resentful Death City is filled with terrifying resentful spirits. Why don't you steal a few hundred for us to take a look at? I certainly can't do it. But you are a grand master archaeologist. A pioneer of excavating the lost culture of the Martial Heaven continent. Come now. Don't be Loki. Show us your abilities. Long Chen smiled wickedly. He truly understood Mo Nian. Count yourself vicious. Mo Nian glared at Long Chen and waved his hand. After that, a dozen weapons clattered to the ground. And the palace rumbled with space twisting. Damn. The old man gasped. The formless wheel. The heavenly spirit parasol. The ghost king shield. The heaven piercing hegemon spear. Hu Jianying examined the divine items one by one. Her heart pounding. These were all famous existences in the martial heaven continent's history. They and their masters had left behind countless legends. Besides, the owners of these weapons had all been experts in the same generation as Sovereign Zi Yang. They were famous existences that had stood at the apex of the continent at that time. 
This heavenly spirit parasol is a treasure of the Nangong family. Back then, their family. Well, it's not for me to say. You should return it to the Nangong family later. Hu Jinying sighed when she saw the heavenly spirit parasol. These experts were truly from the same generation as Sovereign Zi Yang. Then Long Chen's theory that the Sovereign Seal was left by him is likely. But if Sovereign Zi Yang sealed resentful Death City, why is it that no one from the Martial Heaven continent knew of it? Furthermore, the Divine Families were capable of entering resentful Death City, but they didn't say anything either. The old man's expression sank. He smelled a scheme. We've never viewed resentful Death City as a powerful enemy, only treating it as the final trump card of the corrupt path. It seems that we were wrong. Resentful Death City definitely poses a serious threat to the Martial Heaven continent, or the Sovereign wouldn't have sealed it. But it really is incomprehensible why the Sovereign didn't leave any warning, said Ku Jinying. Perhaps Daoist Heavenly Feather or the High Priest knows something? Maybe we should ask them, suggested the old man. Long Chen shook his head. There's no need. They know many things, but if they could say any, they wouldn't conceal it. So asking them about things that they can't say is meaningless. If the Sovereign didn't mention it, then doesn't that have huge implications? Even if the High Priest did know, he definitely wouldn't dare to say it. The Martial Heaven Continent is like a riddle slowly being solved by our generation. The Corrupt Path, the Divine Families, and even Pill Valley are acting mysteriously. They are scheming something, and only we are still blind. But I refuse to believe that the five sovereigns were just going to let us be destroyed without leaving any clues. Now, the Martial Heaven continent lies on the brink of destruction. Whether or not we win is something I feel like is up to Mo Nian. Me? What the fuck? What are you looking at me for? Demanded Mo Nian. He. It depends on whether or not you can take out some more divine items to equip our side. Chortled Long Chen. Bastard. There's no more. Raged Mo Nian, Chapter 2595 Once more going to the corrupt god cemetery I don't believe you. Long Chen looked at Mo Nian disdainfully. At the very least, there is one object that you haven't taken out. Where is the Bidang family's weapon? If you take it for yourself, do you think Bidang Rushuang will let you off? Mo Nian then tossed out a few more divine items and directly stormed off. Amongst those new divine items was an ancient multicolored bow. Seeing Mo Nian toss over so many divine items, Hu Jinying felt bad. Long Chen, Mo Nian risked his life to enter resentful Death City and brought back these treasures with his own power. Don't you think it's going overboard to take them all? Overboard? No, you don't know Mo Nian. He definitely hasn't taken out even half of the things he got, said Long Chen. Long Chen truly understood Mo Nian. Although he was generous in other areas, he was a stingy miser when it came to the profits of his gravarabing. Taking those from him was like cutting his flesh. Why did Long Chen know? It was because Mo Nian had once shown Long Chen his treasure room, a place that not even Lu Zongying knew of. Inside, there were millions of museum pieces he had collected. They were the results of Mo Nian's gravarabing over the years and he had detailed classifications of them, including their uses, age, etc. Long Chen had even spotted something that looked like a woman's undergarment. In any case, this fellow was very unwilling to take out the results of his gravarabing. He liked to conceal them and keep them for himself, calling it by the glorified name of archaeology and protecting the treasures of the continent's ancestral figures. The reason Long Chen had repeatedly squeezed Mo Nian of his treasures just now was because it would be a waste to conceal such priceless treasures. However, now that Mo Nian had spat out so many terrifying divine items, Long Chen felt confident that Mo Nian knew how serious their predicament was. He wouldn't conceal such terrifying divine items, whether he left them to the Martial Heaven Alliance or to Mo Gate's disciples. It was all the same. This is truly stunning. So many experts died in resentful Death City. The old man looked at those divine items in disbelief. These divine items were all famous existences, and their original masters were experts that had stood at the peak of the continent. Thinking of how they had all died in resentful Death City, he was alarmed. Just what kind of secret was hiding in resentful Death City? The Nangong and Bidang family's divine items naturally must be returned to them. 
the Dongfang family's scarlet tomb Saber should be left to a saber master. As for the Zeman family's dragon claw, Hu Jinying looked at Long Chen. The Zeman family had been enemies with Long Chen at the start, but later, perhaps due to their conscience or because they couldn't stop Long Chen, they had decided to join the neutral side. Even after multiple battles, the Zeman family had chosen to remain neutral. However, there were times that they had spoken up for the side of the Martial Heaven continent. In the Starfield Divine World, Zeman Shiangsheng had cursed Dongfang Yuyang's actions. Thus, the Zeman family could not be said to be the Martial Heaven Alliance's enemy. You can do whatever you want. Don't look at me. I'm not good at politics, said Long Chen. Long Chen nodded. As his cultivation base grew, Hu Jinying was less strict with him. It was no longer like she was the parent scolding a child. However, with this respect came distance as well. It was the old man and Hu Jinying who were the same from the start. There was cursing and fighting. But in Long Chen's view, this showed that they were actually closer. Perhaps this was why the old man would never be suited to being in command. Hu Jinying nodded and respectfully put away the divine items. Since Mo Nian didn't know their history, then fine. But Hu Jinying had grown up with stories of these legendary figures. These seniors had spilled their blood for the Martial Heaven continent, so they had to be treated respectfully. After putting away the divine items, Hu Jinying was on the move to send them to the right people when she recalled the other matter. She told Long Chen about the matter of the Blood Fiend Devil Lord. The Blood Fiend Devil Lord. Long Chen was startled. Even Sovereign Sprouts were willing to be his guards and all the experts of the Dragonblood Legion were unable to stop him from leaving? This person was definitely shockingly powerful. Long Chen knew that the current Dragonblood Legion was extremely powerful, but he hadn't expected them to draw out such a terrifying existence. He is most likely the son of the world. To be more precise, he has started walking the path of becoming a sovereign. He is most definitely the sovereign of his generation. As for the Martial Heaven Continent, we have some Sovereign Sprouts, but not one person has shown signs of being the true Sovereign. It's worrisome, sighed Hu Jinying. The Blood Sun behind the Blood Fiend Devil Lord was the best indicator that he was the next Sovereign. Legend had it that when Sovereigns were rising, they had different manifestations, which were supported by the entire world. The Blood Fiend Devil Lord had appeared, but there was no one similar to him on the Martial Heaven Continent. This fact made the people panic. Even though Long Chen was powerful, he wasn't supported by the full power of the Martial Heaven Continent. So how could he fight the Blood Fiend Devil Lord? Furthermore, the information that Mo Nian had brought back implied that Ji Ming was also undergoing a similar transformation. He might become the second Blood Fiend Devil Lord, and this news pressed heavily on their hearts. Moreover, resentful Death City made Ku Jinying extremely uneasy. What's there to be afraid of? No matter what scheme they have, all we can do is fight to the death. Why worry so much? Said the old man. Hu Jinying glared at the old man. This recklessness was something she was unable to achieve. Long Chen, what do you think? Asked Hu Jinying. Not much. I agree with the old man. All we can do is work hard at improving ourselves. If the Martial Heaven Continent is truly fated to be destroyed then small figures like us won't be able to stop it. All I can do is risk my life to stop those trying to destroy my family. If I kill one, I go even. If I kill two, I'll have profited, said Long Chen. The old man laughed and nodded. This thinking was to his taste. People were born in the world, so they should live to the fullest while they were still alive. What will come will come in the end. Did worrying about it bring anything good? Hu Jinying sighed. These two were both unreasonable. If she tried to talk reason with them, her words would only fall on deaf ears. I'm going to leave and discuss this with Li Xiangxuan first. Sigh. I can't be bothered to speak to you two, said Hu Jinying. Alliance head. I suddenly recall that there's something important I need to discuss with you, said Long Chen. What asked Hu Jinying, pausing. Ah, about that. Ling Shen has most likely brought it up to you. It's to give some joy to the Martial Heaven Alliance at this time. Hu Jinying immediately turned red and cursed. Little bastard. All you think about is nonsense. We have more important things to do. If you keep spouting nonsense, 
I'll tear up that broken mouth of yours. Hu Jinying ran off, almost fleeing. After that, Long Chen turned to the old man and saw that his expression was complicated. What? Are you of the same mind? That doesn't seem to be your style, said Long Chen. The old man sighed and patted his shoulder. Child, I know your heart. Ling Shen has also brought it up to me. Thinking about this life, I owe Jin Ying a great deal. When I was young, I didn't understand. When I understood, I was already old. I've also decided on it. When the dark era is over, we'll have the grandest wedding ceremony to make up for what I owe her. Long Chen nodded. Old man, I've essentially learned the ninth form of split the heavens, and the finer details are things I have to figure out for myself. Now, I'm thinking of visiting the high priest to see what he is thinking. The old man pondered over this and eventually nodded. Due to the nine-star hegemon body art, Long Chen was unable to use the ninth form of split the heavens in the same way, so it would be better for him to slowly test it for himself. After that, Long Chen left the heaven-splitting battle sect and flew through the endless black clouds on a flying boat. A sharp light then appeared in his eyes. The dark era. There's no longer a day or night. Perhaps there's sunlight right behind the black clouds, but no one knows when the clouds will disperse. No one knows if they'll live to see the sunlight again. The darkness brings despair, but why is it that I like black so much? Long Chen stared at the black clouds, not feeling oppressed by them. Instead, he felt a strange kind of ease. Perhaps your inner heart is already black, said Evil Moon indifferently. TCH, your dark evil dragon race is the blackest one. Are you trying to praise me? Long Chen curled his lips. Our darkness has a bottom line. I'm not someone who pisses and craps on others. Clearly, you have no bottom line, cursed Evil Moon. It seemed it was recalling how Long Chen had threatened to poop on it to make it lower its head. I don't believe it. My heart is filled with sunlight. I love life. So how could I be such a dark person? Said Long Chen. Pa, why do you like wearing black? Isn't it to conceal your own darkness? If you wore white, your inner darkness would be set off by contrast, and you wouldn't be able to endure it yourself. Sneered Evil Moon. Impossible. Have I been affected by you without realizing it? Wondered Long Chen. Dog shit. Don't blame others for your own crap. I'm the one affected by you. I find myself. Well, whatever. I'm not going to argue with you. Just remember, humans have two sides. The you that you see might not be your true self. If you face the sunlight, you will only see the parts of you that are bright. But you don't know that the shadow behind you can cover up the entire world. Said Evil Moon. What is that supposed to mean? Asked Long Chen. It seemed that what Devil Moon said had a deeper meaning. Find a way to see yourself clearly, or when you use the ninth form of split the heavens, I'll be overwhelmed by your darkness. Then you will also lose control. You can't just rely on me to control your emotions. You have to control them yourself, warned Devil Moon. All right, I understand. Long Chen nodded. Lately, he had truly been dependent on Evil Moon, Linger, and the Heaven Flipping Seal. That wasn't a good thing. Aren't you going to the Wine God Palace? Why did you come here? Asked Evil Moon suddenly. A dark world appeared before them. The aura of death filled this place, and the surrounding mountains had long since lost any greenery. This was the entrance to the Corrupt God Cemetery. Chapter 2596 Revealing What is Hidden Greetings Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen Long Chen had just arrived when disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance ran over to greet him. Therefore, Long Chen nodded to them. Has there been any activity here? A disciple answered, reporting to senior apprentice brother Long Chen. The other world's aura is constantly infecting the Martial Heaven continent. However, the size of this entrance has not grown. Most likely, it has been suppressed by the laws of the Martial Heaven continent, but there is no way to say for certain. So we are currently paying close attention to it. The gate between Resentful Death City and the Corrupt God Cemetery had been inadvertently opened by Mo Nian. As a result, the aura of Resentful Death City was entering the Martial Heaven continent through the Corrupt God Cemetery. However, it was unable to spread after reaching a limit of 10,000 miles from the exit, similar to the Yin Yang world. Hence, that disciples' assumptions were most likely correct. 
it must be suppressed by the laws of the martial heaven continent. Nevertheless, once the aura of resentful death city grew to a certain density, it would be able to spread further, and then the resentful spirits inside would be able to enter the martial heaven continent freely. At this moment, hair-raising roars occasionally rang out from the other side of the portal. It was like devils howling. Stand guard over this place. I'm going inside to take a look, said Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you can't go inside, the disciple cried out, but Long Chen had entered the portal. It was too late to stop him. When he entered this time, he found that its aura was completely different from before. There was now a trace of life within the aura of death and decay. As soon as he was inside, he saw countless corpses littering the ground. Their bodies and clothes were rotting, and yet their bodies moved when he arrived. They were resentful spirits, the corrupt paths people. Long Chen was surprised. These resentful spirits were not the ones that Mo Nian had seen. These were the corrupt paths experts based on their robes. Mo Nian hadn't seen a single resentful spirit of the corrupt path within resentful death city. However, all Long Chen saw were those belonging to the corrupt path. After that, Long Chen saw burial mounds on the ground that had been recently excavated. These experts must have been buried there previously. The closest one of them attacked Long Chen with a sword, but he was blown back by a palm from Long Chen. Oh, Long Chen was surprised that the resentful spirit survived his attack. Its body was extremely tough. Their bodies were turned into puppets through special methods that allow them to unleash even greater power than when they were alive. Long Chen quickly saw through some clues. After that, he waved his hand, sending out a torrent of lightning. As a result, those resentful spirits wailed, white smoke emitting from their bodies. In just a breath of time, they turned into true corpses. Clapping suddenly rang out, and a figure slowly appeared from within a mass of black chi, looking like a specter in the night. It was Yi Ming. Yi Ming praised. You are probably the only one to ever be able to control heavenly punishment lightning. Even a sovereign was unable to do such a thing. Admirable if you really admire me, you'd bring out your real body instead of this clone. What? Are you afraid that I'll slaughter you? Said Long Chen indifferently. This Yi Ming was not his true self. He looked like a reflection within the darkness, and his figure was swaying unsteadily. Yi Ming smiled, nodding. You are correct. I'm truly afraid of you slaughtering me. You're so modest. Asked Long Chen. Surprised. Yi Ming shook his head. This isn't modesty but the truth. I don't like it. But I have to admit that my current self is not a match for you. In the Starfield Divine World. Just as I was about to reach unstoppable heights. You still ruined everything. Because of it. I have to admit that you are comparable to a sovereign. As even Yan Tian didn't give me the same sense of danger as you. However, don't forget, I'm the seventh generation corrupt god. I underwent nirvanic rebirth just for today and have waited tens of thousands of years. All the karma has been arranged. Although there have been some unexpected events, it does not affect the final result. The martial heaven continent will definitely be destroyed. So all your efforts, all your struggles are useless. You came out to see me just to say these empty words. Long Chen looked at Ji Ming a sharp light appearing in his eyes. He seemed to be able to see through Yi Ming's heart. I'm telling you this so that you're prepared. Work hard on your cultivation, and don't die to someone else before I come out of seclusion. After all, you are the enemy that I appreciate the most. I hope that you die to my hands. Yi Ming smiled. But what if I want to kill you right now? Long Chen shrugged helplessly. Ha 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 ha. If you want to die a bit sooner, I won't stop you. At the end of the corrupt god cemetery is resentful death city. That's my battlefield. Come. If I kill you now, I won't need to worry about someone else getting a head stirred on me. Yi Ming laughed, vanishing into the darkness. His laughter continued to ring out. At the next second, the resentful spirits in the corrupt god cemetery suddenly parted, leaving a path for him. Long Chen smiled and followed that path, going deeper into the corrupt god cemetery. Are you crazy? Aren't you sending yourself to your death? Demanded Evil Moon. Long Chen responded. Through several interactions, I've gotten a deeper understanding of Yi Ming. He's a schemer, so everything he says is a lie to further his goals. 
He said those things because he wanted to scare me off, but in truth, he doesn't want me to enter. There is definitely some secret in there. How do you know that he didn't predict your line of thought and was baiting you intentionally? There is nothing guaranteed in life. In any case, I trust my vision and intuition. Yi Ming always thinks of himself as clever. His schemes look superior, but they always lack some maturity. As someone who underwent nirvanic rebirth, he has his memories from his last life, and the arrogance from that life has continued in this era as well. That means his character is essentially fixed and will not change. He treats everyone around him like a chess piece, and he has no counselors. If anyone questioned his decisions, he would kill them. Evil Moon, why don't you tell me if you ever listened to the opinions of your subordinates, said Long Chen. Evil Moon was silent. Back then, he had made decisions by himself, and Yi Ming was the same. Long Chen quickly flew by the countless resentful spirits. They had been buried in the corrupt god cemetery since the ancient era and then had been turned into resentful spirits by the aura of resentful death city. Nevertheless, they at least possessed a certain level of will as they listened to Yi Ming's orders. Their eyes had long since withered, leaving deep empty eye sockets that stared at Long Chen. If it was anyone else, they would probably be scared off. However, Long Chen charged through them without even looking at them. Just as Mo Nian had said, the coffins here had vanished. When Long Chen reached the channel, he heard countless roars coming from the other side. They were like thunder in his ears. That's definitely from an existence above Nether Passage, and more than one at that. Long Chen, if you go in, you might not be leaving alive, said Evil Moon. Yi Ming might just cut off the path back, trapping them in resentful death city. It's fine. I'll run if I see something wrong. Long Chen clenched his fists. In his hand was a bronze fragment. This was a fragment of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Although it was just a fragment, it had absorbed the source chi of the Yi family's counterfeit Eastern Wasteland Bell. With it, no matter what kind of domain Yi Ming tried to set up, Long Chen would be able to break it. This was his trump card for entering this place. The aura of death grew stronger, but when Long Chen reached the end of the passageway, he suddenly laughed. Yi Ming, I just knew you were scheming to scare me off. So there's still a sovereign seal here. From the channel, Long Chen saw a barrier separating resentful death city and the corrupt god cemetery. He was looking through the sovereign seal. Countless resentful spirits within resentful death city were roaring at the sovereign seal but they didn't dare to approach it. When Long Chen got closer, he saw a thick layer of dust on the ground on the other side of the exit. It seemed like the remnants of resentful spirits that had tried to charge through. After that, Long Chen looked up. The barrier had a giant sovereign character embedded in it, looking like it was made of fresh blood. This was a seal made with the blood of a sovereign, something that possessed the power to transcend time and space. Thanks to it, even though the sovereigns were already gone, their work continued to protect the continent. When Long Chen got closer to the sovereign seal, it suddenly lit up and enveloped Long Chen in a beam of light. Chapter 2597 Sovereign Zi Yang Space Twisted After that, Long Chen found himself within a strange place where multicolored sunlight flowed all around him. Before he even got a look at his surroundings, he heard a voice from behind him. Black robes? A back turn to all life? How surprising. Long Chen turned around to see a middle-aged man in pure white robes. Just standing there, he seemed to have transcended the mortal world of dust. Everything within the universe seemed to be in his gaze. There was no aura coming from him, but he gave off an unspeakable nobility. At this moment, a questioning look could be seen in his eyes as if Long Chen was a surprise to him. Long Chen had encountered Sovereign Yun Shang, Sovereign Ching Shu and Sovereign Mo Li. From experience, he could feel that this person possessed the same noble air. Just his gaze alone was enough to make a person follow him into death. This was the air of a sovereign. Only a sovereign was able to win over all races and led them to win an unwinnable battle. This was the indescribable charisma of a sovereign that was impossible to resist. Junior Long Chen greets the sovereign Long Chen hastily bowed. However, before his waist could bend, he was lifted by the man. I cannot accept a bow from the Gamma Breaker. If someone has to bow, it should be me to you. The man smiled slightly. Senior must be joking. 
This little one could not accept a bow from a sovereign, said Long Chen. This was not his humility but his own feelings of reverence for the sovereigns. He really admired the selflessness of the sovereigns. They had used their lives to protect the martial heaven continent. Even though they had died, they had used their own blood to create the sovereign seals and protect this world. Moreover, the sovereigns had never demanded anything from the martial heaven continent, nor had they laid any restrictions on the lives living on the continent. Every time a crisis came, they would rise and stave off complete annihilation. When Long Chen asked himself if he could do the same, his answer was that he couldn't. Protecting the people he liked was fine, but to make him risk his life to protect those he hated or those he didn't care about? That was a joke. Although it did feel a bit like the sovereigns wanted to get along with everyone, it was their selflessness that truly won over Long Chen. You're too humble. The Gamma Breaker can accept a bow from everyone in the world. A sovereign is no exception. A so-called sovereign is nothing more than a kind of realm. It's not worth anything. On the other hand, you are an existence born within calamity. Whether the martial heaven continent lives or dies is in your hands. Your burden is far heavier than ours. Senior Ah, I still haven't heard your name, said Long Chen awkwardly. There were five sovereigns that had appeared in the martial heaven continent's history. Long Chen knew of four names. Yun Shang. Ching Shu, Mo Li, and Zi Yang. But there was a fifth sovereign that he hadn't heard of. He knew that this person had to be the unknown sovereign or sovereign Zi Yang, but it would be rude to randomly guess. My apologies. I am Zi Yang. You can call me Big Brother Zi Yang. Being called sovereign sounds so distant, as expected. This man was sovereign Zi Yang, the fifth generation sovereign of the Martial Heaven Continent. To be able to pay my respects to big brother Zi Yang is this junior brother's honor, said Long Chen. Inside, he thought to himself that being able to meet four of the five sovereigns and even call himself brother to three was enough to brag for a lifetime. Come, let's sit and talk. The two of them sat cross-legged, and sovereign Zi Yang started off by saying, Do you have any questions? Go ahead and ask. With the descent of the Dark Era. There are fewer things that are taboo to discuss. There's no harm in saying what you think. Long Chen nodded. Then I won't stand on courtesy. I don't understand what kind of existence resentful Death City is. Why have you and the seniors from that last great battle appeared here? No one on the Martial Heaven continent understood this. Well, at least, the old man and Ku Jinying were both unable to figure it out. If the old man didn't know, then fine. But Ku Jinying was the alliance head of the Martial Heaven continent and had access to all kinds of unspeakable secrets of the continent. If she didn't have at least a certain amount of knowledge, there was no way she could be in her position. Resentful Death City was the first city that fell in the War of Gods and Devils. It was the most flourishing city on the Martial Heaven continent during the most glorious time of the continent. There were countless experts, and the path to immortality had yet to be severed. Every year, large numbers of experts would ascend to the immortal world. The martial heaven continent of that time was unimaginably large. The current continent has shrunk to not even one ten thousandth of its original size. Zi Yang looked at the void, seemingly lost in his memories. Long Chen almost jumped. The current continent was only one ten thousandth of its original size? That was truly unimaginable. The larger the world, the stronger its laws and the more abundant its spiritual chi. No wonder everyone said that the current martial heaven continent had declined. With the shrinking of the continent, the density of spiritual chi was probably not even one thousandth of its original density. Sovereign Zi Yang continued. The tribulation descended without warning. The first target was the continent's strongest city. Its original name was Immortal Ascension City, indicating it was a step to the immortal realm. Immortal Ascension City was a sacred land in the cultivation world, and the strongest sects of the continent gathered there. When the attackers came, the Martial Heaven Continent's experts fought back with full power. Those qualified to participate in that battle were at least at the Early Heaven Merging Realm. Long Chen sucked in a cold gasp of air. The Early Heaven Merging Realm was actually cannon fodder in that battle. Just how terrifying was it? The battle started suddenly and the flames of war quickly spread throughout the continent, throwing the martial heaven continent into unprecedented danger. In that situation, 
the five supreme divine items made an appearance, fighting off the immortal item of the other world, the heaven devastating bracelet. In the end, the heaven devastating bracelet fell beneath the earth, while the leader of the five divine items, the eastern wasteland bell, broke apart. The other four divine items were also badly damaged. Although in that battle, the experts succeeded in killing the invaders, the martial heaven continent was never able to rise back to its old height. The top experts of that generation were practically all killed in battle. Every sect was badly wounded, and some inheritances were lost. Even secret realms and minor worlds were destroyed. After that, the order of heaven and earth grew unstable, and the laws of the world began to change. Immortal Ascension City was then lost in a spastime crack, becoming the channel linking the martial heaven continent and the death spirit world. The death spirit world? What is that? Long Chen couldn't help asking. This was his first time hearing of it. You've gone to the netherworld, so you know that it is the place where reincarnation starts for the souls of those who die. But the laws of the continent are difficult to comprehend. There are some life forms that do not exist within the reincarnation cycle. The Undying Race. As for the Death Spirit World, it belongs to a branch of the Undying Race. Although they are called Undying, all things in this world with form cannot exist in perpetuity. They simply have their own Tao of reincarnation that is different from our laws of life and death. We also know that the life forms within the Death Spirit World possess their own strange power that is fundamentally different from our cultivation style. No one knows when it started. But then the Death Spirit World linked up to Immortal Ascension City, turning it into Resentful Death City. After that, all the corpses inside transformed into Resentful Spirits. When the Fifth Dark Era came, the Martial Heaven Continent was full of holes. There were many battlegrounds that forced us to spread all over, and I don't know how many enemies we killed. However, later on, I sensed something wrong. All that Death Chi was being absorbed. When I traced the source, I found resentful Death City and the terrifying experts that lay within. We then fought against them for three days and nights, finally managing to kill them all at the cost of my followers' lives. It can be said that I implicated them. Amongst all the sovereigns, I was the most useless sovereign Zi Yang sighed sadly. Big brother, you can't say that. Without you, the martial heaven continent would have been destroyed. No one would have been able to do better than you, said Long Chen. The sovereigns were undefeatable existences. Just who had managed to fight against one for three days and nights? Sovereign Zi Yang looked outside the space that they were in. His gaze seemed to pierce the barrier and see everything within resentful Death City. The martial heaven continent is in danger of destruction. Whether it was Sovereign Yun Shang, Sovereign Qing Shu, Sovereign Mo Li, Sovereign Han Wei, or myself, we were relays that passed the problem on to the next generation. In other words, we were only able to prevent the Martial Heaven Continent from being destroyed temporarily and win some time for it. Therefore, all the warriors who fought to the death in the Dark Eras and us were waiting for the Gamma Breaker. Only the Gamma Breaker can break this board of definite death. And that person is you, said Sovereign Zi Yang profoundly. Me, Long Chen's heart pounded. Impossible. Let alone winning over the various races. I'm surrounded by enemies. If you weren't able to escape this predicament, how can I? Furthermore, I'm truly sorry Big Brother Zi Yang, but I cannot risk my life for those people I don't care about. Sovereign Zi Yang seemed to be saying that Long Chen was supposed to be the sixth to pick up this burden. And Long Chen was sure that he could not accept such a thing. Whether or not you can do it is something you will learn when the time comes. This is a kind of responsibility in this world that cannot be shirked. Moreover, the burden has been placed in front of you, and you cannot avoid it. Whether people like you or not, whether they sing your praises or curse you for eternity, none of that is worth anything. All karma has gathered on you, and the fate of the martial heaven continent changes because of you. You live, the continent lives. You die, the continent dies. Sovereign Zi Yang's words were like hammers striking Long Chen's heart. He felt dizzy because a heavy weight just fell upon him. Chapter 2598 Chosen by the Heavens Big Brother Zi Yang As my brother, you wouldn't be conning me, right? I really am not made for that kind of stuff. Long Chen shook his head. What kind of joke was that? How could someone place such a huge responsibility on him? 
Sovereign Zi Yang smiled, yet it also didn't seem to be a smile. To tell the truth, I was originally worried about the fate of the Martial Heaven continent, but now that I've seen you, I suddenly feel like I was worrying for nothing. You are different from all of us. Perhaps that is why you are the crux upon which the world changes, the Gamma Breaker. Just from your black robes and how your back faced me, I understood instantly just how marvelous the heavenly deos are. Big Brother Zi Yang, I really am not such a person. Do you know? Sovereign Yun Shang has a son that has awoken. I'm planning on fully supporting him. Sovereign Yun Shang had a son, exclaimed Zi Yang. Yes, I received his help, which allowed me to pass through the tribulation in the Starfield Divine World. He is a truly marvelous genius. No one can resist him, said Long Chen. Sovereign Zi Yang was lost in thought for a while before sighing. As expected of the first generation, none of us can match him. Long Chen was confused. What was so amazing about having descendants? Long Chen didn't know what to say. Sovereign Zi Yang explained. Sovereign Yun Shang was the head of the five sovereigns. His power is something we all respect, and you will come to know just how amazing he was. However, even if Sovereign Yun Shang left behind a son, you are still the Gamma Breaker. You are the only one who can break this plot of sure death. Seeing that Long Chen was about to argue once more, Sovereign Zi Yang waved his hand. You don't need to feel any pressure. Everything will come naturally. I do not have that much time to argue such senseless things. If you have more questions, ask while you have time. Long Chen's heart shook. After that, he thought about it and asked. What do you think about the divine families I have no opinion worth sharing, said Sovereign Zi Yang indifferently. Long Chen stared at him blankly. What was that supposed to mean? If the martial heaven continent is to survive the upcoming dark era, what is the most important aspect? Asked Long Chen. You. Fine. Long Chen rolled his eyes. He might as well not have asked. Suddenly, he asked. Sovereign Zi Yang. What is Pill Valley's origin you should ask yourself? You have deep karma with Pill Valley. The Martial Heaven Continent is just a start. As for, Sovereign Zi Yang suddenly fell silent, seemingly calculating something. He shook his head in the end and didn't continue. I wasn't able to obtain any valuable information. Big Brother Zi Yang, you're a sovereign. Even you don't dare to say these things, asked Long Chen. I'm a dead person. If I speak. It won't affect me, but it will bring calamity upon you, said Sovereign Zi Yang. You also, Long Chen found this difficult to accept even though he was prepared. Even Sovereign Zi Yang was dead? If the Martial Heaven Continent were to learn of this, who knew whether people would fall into despair? The legend said that the sovereigns had vanished because they were secretly protecting this world. When the world was in danger once more, the sovereigns would appear to save it again. If news of their death shattered that belief, then would the Martial Heaven Continent's experts collapse before the invaders even attacked? The sovereigns were the faith of the entire Martial Heaven Continent. When that faith collapsed, it would leave a fatal blow. Now, even Long Chen felt a profound sense of loss. If the five sovereigns were still present, perhaps they really would be able to fight off the powerful enemies. But this hope was extinguished. Long Chen. Don't look down on yourself. The Martial Heaven Continent picked you to be the Gamma Breaker, and the five of us existed to build a foundation for you. Trust in yourself. You definitely have that ability. We were both chosen by the heavens, and they would not choose poorly. The Martial Heaven Continent has entrusted its fate to you. Just as you previously told me, no one else would be able to do better than you in your position. Comforted Sovereign Zi Yang. How come I've never felt like the heavens chose me? If anything, they're always trying to kill me. In my last tribulation, even Big Brother Moli appeared at the end. If he didn't cheat and let me pass, I'd have died to that heavenly tribulation. Long Chen bitterly smiled. You were chosen by the heavens. There is no doubt about this. However, the reason the heavenly deos are targeting is because the current heavenly deos are no longer the old heavenly deos. The heavens are no longer the old heavens, but the earth is still the old earth. The laws of the heavenly deos have changed. Don't take it to heart. Don't misjudge the world to be targeting you just because of your heavenly tribulation. What is targeting you is something that cannot be spoken with words, said Sovereign Zi Yang. 
Long Chen's heart shook. Then you mean that this world sovereign Zi Yang interrupted. Don't say such things out loud. It will be sensed by the heavenly deos, breeding more variables that will manifest as further tribulations for you. It does more harm than good. I've told you all I can tell you. Is there anything else you need help with? I still have a trace of power left. I can seal it inside your body. And when you encounter an enemy that you cannot beat, it can save your life. Hearing this, Long Chen felt a rush of excitement. If this power was sealed in his body, he would have an unmatched protective talisman. Who knew what he could do with that? However, he then suddenly thought of something. How many of the Martial Heaven Continent's experts were turned into resentful spirits inside resentful Death City? Some warriors did not have time to extinguish their Yuan spirits before dying, and their Yuan spirits tried to protect them, entering a state of quasi-death. Normally, this state would indicate death, and the remnant will is only able to weakly pass on some information to their descendants. However, inside Resentful Death City, the aura of the Death Spirit world will cause the Yuan spirit to undergo a transformation into a Death Spirit. At that time, many experts sensed this and extinguished their own lives in time, dying completely. However, some fought to the death, wanting to kill as many enemies as possible, resulting in them not extinguishing the flames of their soul in time and becoming resentful spirits. There should be around 15 million resentful death spirits of the human race within resentful death city. They were all brave warriors who followed me into battle, said Sovereign Zi Yang sadly. Then did the corpses left behind in the battle of gods and devils also become resentful spirits? Asked Long Chen. No. At the time that they died, resentful death city had yet to become linked to the death spirit world. Their corpses were buried in the ground, but their leftover resentment is used by the corrupt path to control the resentful spirits, said Sovereign Zi Yang. Then is the corrupt path in collusion with the Death Spirit world? Why did the Sovereigns not wipe them out earlier? Asked Long Chen. Sovereign Zi Yang shook his head, not directly replying. Why did you ask how many resentful spirits were from the Martial Heaven continent seeing that Sovereign Zi Yang refused to answer? Long Chen knew that he had once more touched upon a big secret. So he gave up on pressing more information out of Sovereign Zi Yang. If you have the ability. I hope to wipe out those resentful spirits so that they can rest in peace. For the corrupt path to control the heroes of the Martial Heaven Continent is the greatest insult to them. Furthermore, Yi Ming is very crafty. When the battle starts, he will definitely use them as his trump cards. At that time, how will the Martial Heaven Continent's experts fight their ancestors that have been turned into resentful spirits? If they don't attack, they'll be killed. But if they do attack, they will be taking on the name of murderers of their ancestors. That will affect the continent's morale, said Long Chen. This remnant power that I have would be wasted on them. Think it through, said Sovereign Zi Yang. He only had a little bit of power that could be used once. It was extremely precious. There's no need to think about it. Hesitating isn't my style. If I want to do something, I do it. I don't want the heroes of the Martial Heaven Continent to suffer any further insult. As for my safety, well, if I couldn't protect my own life myself, how am I supposed to protect those that I care about? Said Long Chen. Sovereign Zi Yang smiled. All right, as expected of the Gamma Breaker. Although I don't completely approve, I like this character. I respect your choice. After that, the space around them shook and Long Chen appeared in the void with Sovereign Zi Yang. Beneath them was an ancient black city. This was Immortal Ascension City, as well as Resentful Death City. Standing in the void above it, Long Chen could sense just how vast and beautiful it was. Even from their position, they couldn't see the end of the city. At this moment, the Resentful Spirits shut their mouths when they saw Sovereign Zi Yang. They began to tremble. Big Brother Zi Yang, if there is a chance. I would like to bring their weapons back with me to return them to their descendants, said Long Chen. Sovereign Zi Yang nodded. With a single step, the two of them teleported from the void to inside the city. Long Chen was startled. Sovereign Zi Yang's teleportation hadn't unleashed the slightest spatial fluctuation. If the Sovereign wanted to kill someone, they could do it in an instant before their target could sense them. A black barrier appeared once they entered the inner city blocking the two of them. Through it, 
Long Chen could see countless resentful spirits prostrating themselves toward the central altar. Just as Mo Nian had said, the inner coffins of the corrupt god cemetery were on the altar. At the very center of the altar was Yi Ming staring at Long Chen in shock. Or more accurately, he was staring at Sovereign Zi Yang. Yi Ming, didn't you want to fight me? Come, I'll satisfy that desire of yours. I'll beat so much crap out of you that it fills the city. Long Chen rolled up his sleeves, looking at him arrogantly. Chapter 2599 Spirits Cry Ghosts weep with Sovereign Zi Yang beside him. Long Chen instantly became arrogant. He clasped his hands behind him, looking down on Yi Ming. Yi Ming stared at Sovereign Zi Yang in terror. He knew exactly who he was. It was precisely because he knew who Sovereign Zi Yang was that he was so terrified. No need to worry. My big brother won't bother with you. Come, let me see what improvements you've made during this time, said Long Chen. He was extremely satisfied by Yi Ming's reaction. You are unable to beat him in this place. Resentful Death City's resentful spirits are under his command, and he has already opened his death spirit eyes. Although he hasn't brought out its full potential yet, it's no problem to control a few heaven-merging resentful spirits. They're extremely powerful, warned Sovereign Zi Yang. Long Chen's heart shook. This fellow's eyes were called the Death Spirit Eyes? Was his dark energy specifically cultivated to open his Death Spirit Eyes so that he could control the resentful spirits here? At this moment, Sovereign Zi Yang pressed a finger against the powerful barrier, which then shuddered and shattered. This terrifying barrier was as flimsy as a piece of paper in front of a sovereign. Yi Ming's figure sank into the altar, vanishing from sight. He fled. Long Chen was astonished. He felt like Sovereign Zi Yang wouldn't bother killing Yi Ming. He would disdain doing so. He went to call reinforcements. Long Chen, watch closely. Your future enemy is about to appear, said Sovereign Zi Yang. Reinforcements? Long Chen was startled. But before he could react, Black Chi suddenly whirled out of the altar. An aura full of darkness, decay, and death filled the air. Just breathing in this scent could make a person feel like they had aged a thousand years and grown weak. Therefore, Long Chen hastily blocked the aura outside of his body. Zi Yang, I didn't expect to see you again. He, but it seems that you're nothing more than a strand of a discarnate soul. What can you possibly do? An icy voice rang out from within the black chi, and a figure slowly appeared. It was an old man who looked like a withered corpse. His skin was black. His robes were black, and he was holding a bone cane with a skull on top. The skull was only the size of a fist but had three faces, looking like a human skull that had been shrunk. Moreover, bewitching ghost flames flickered inside the eye sockets, and just a glance at those ghost flames made Long Chen almost fall unconscious. With just a glance, the majority of his spiritual strength vanished. Excellent. You were able to escape the soul binds of the six eye demon pupils without any help. Your mental energy is very powerful, praised Sovereign Zi Yang. Long Chen was unable to feel any joy over this praise. Just who was this terrifying elder? Without initiating any attack, just a look at that skull was enough to exhaust the majority of Long Chen's spiritual strength and almost make him fall unconscious. The difference was as great as heaven and earth. Furthermore, he seemed to recognize Sovereign Zi Yang. Could it be that he, turning back to the strange elder, Sovereign Zi Yang smiled slightly. Even if I'm just a discarnate soul, I will not forget the blessing of heaven and earth's nurturing. I still need to do my utmost to repay this debt. I didn't expect that after killing you, the slightest trace of your discarnate soul would escape. Your death spirit race's divine abilities are truly worthy of admiration as expected. Long Chen's heart pounded. No wonder he was so terrifying. So this was the expert that had fought against Sovereign Zi Yang for three days and nights back then. The death spirit race can protect their souls even when killed as long as we are in a place with death spiritual chi. Even a broken soul can be reformed and recovered into a Yuan spirit. Although I no longer have a body, I am still alive. As for you, the mighty Sovereign Zi Yang, you are only left with a trace of a discarnate soul. You'll quickly vanish from this world. Ha ha ha. The elder laughed, seemingly rejoicing in his victory. Back then, Sovereign Zi Yang had killed him, but he had used the laws of this place to be reborn. 
while Sovereign Zi Yang only had this discarnate soul left, that could definitely be considered a kind of victory. You are working with Yi Ming because you lack a physical body? Did you want to possess him when the time comes? Sneered Long Chen. The elder then turned to Long Chen, tightening Long Chen's nerves instantly. It felt as if all his weaknesses were exposed before him. His soul shuddered. However, this time he was prepared, and he didn't leave any hole in his mental defenses. The elder smiled sinisterly, a dark smile appearing on his withered face. The sixth generation sovereign? It doesn't look like it. His inner heart is just as dark as ours. He's nothing more than a hypocrite. Is this your successor? It seems that the Martial Heaven continent has truly declined even if it has declined. I'm still more than enough to kill your successor. If we were in the same realm, I'd be able to beat the crap out of you, retorted Long Chen. This old man had managed to provoke him with just a few words. You don't have much patience or eloquence. Let this old man give you a lesson. The elder snorted. His palm suddenly slammed toward Long Chen, and darkness covered the world in an instant. As a result, Long Chen's divine sense was sealed, and he couldn't even sense Sovereign Zi Yang's existence. Boom. A loud explosion rang out in Long Chen's ears, but it felt as if it came from a distant world. Long Chen was startled. Within the endless darkness, he felt like he had lost his connection to the rest of the world. He felt like a blind man who had entered a battlefield. You can deceive my senses but not my intuition. Long Chen suddenly slammed a hand forward, and lightning burst out of his palm. In an instant, the darkness around him exploded as the lightning returned light to the world. Long Chen's hand viciously struck the elder's face. As a result, the elder was sent flying. When Long Chen's vision returned, he saw Sovereign Zi Yang standing calmly beside eight giant figures. After that, those eight figures slowly broke apart, seemingly broken by Sovereign Zi Yang. If you want to target him, do it directly. Are you afraid that I would help him? Sovereign Zi Yang looked at the elder of the Death Spirit race and shook his head. The instant the elder had rushed out, Sovereign Zi Yang had also attacked. Their clash resulted in the explosion that Long Chen had heard. At the very least, Sovereign Zi Yang knew that the elder wouldn't kill Long Chen for various reasons, just like Sovereign Zi Yang wouldn't kill Yi Ming. Regretfully, the elder had underestimated Long Chen. His mental domain was unable to seal Long Chen's instincts, and even Sovereign Zi Yang hadn't expected this exchange to end in such a way. A behemoth of the Death Spirit race had been slapped in the face by Long Chen. Sovereign Zi Yang felt it to be shocking and comical. Even in his three days of fighting against the Elder, he had been unable to pull off such an astonishing thing. Courting death, the Elder instantly flew into a rage and waved his bone cane. In that instant, Long Chen felt like his eardrums were being torn apart. Wails and shrieks filled the air like a tsunami, and he almost fainted. Boom. Sovereign Zi Yang interfered once more. Suddenly, a ray of rainbow light streaked through the air, and a peaceful aura suppressed the shrieks. Although the voices were still present and raging furiously, they were unable to affect Long Chen to the same extent any longer. You actually use the spirit's cry. Ghosts weep sound on a member of the junior generation. It seems that you haven't made any improvements after all these years. Sovereign Zi Yang shook his head in disappointment. Stupid human race. You're a group of hypocrites. You act so high and mighty, when all you are is a mix of contradictions. You're freaks of right and wrong. Although I was defeated back then, I still refuse to accept that I'm inferior. I will personally destroy the Martial Heaven continent and hunt down your human race to extinction cursed the Elder furiously. It was as if Sovereign Zi Yang's disappointment in him was gravely insulting. After that, his cane lit up and giant dragons appeared out of the darkness. Those giant dragons unleashed an ancient aura like they were divine beasts that had walked out of legends, causing countless thin cracks to appear in the void as if they were moving through ice. It was as though the world was unable to endure their power. Long Chen, look closely. This is the special power of the Death Spirit race. They can summon life forms from other worlds. These life forms are sometimes bred and raised by them, while some are captured and tamed a bit similar to the beast tamers of the continent. However, these life forms can freely transform between the state of real and illusory with their death spiritual chi, making them harder to deal with. 
his original steed was already killed by me, so these life forms were most likely raised by him after that. Their auras are extremely weak. This was weak? Long Chen felt a chill. The power of every one of these black dragons was equivalent to a full power heaven merging expert. Time is running out. I cannot show you more of their divine abilities. So I'll kill him again to win you some time. A violet sun rose behind Sovereign Zi Yang as he spoke. In that instant, the Sovereign might filled the world. Chapter 2601 Blow breaks the heavens you're only a discarnate soul. How can you still use violet sun fills the world? The elder of the death spirit race let out a horrified cry. The violet sun illuminated all of resentful death city, dyeing everything in its color. All of a sudden, the dark and sinister world became gentle, an aura of tranquility settling over it. The appearance of this violet sun had changed this entire world. Long Chen was also enveloped by its light and felt endless warmth. He could feel the heartbeat of the world and the call of all living things. The thrum of the deos pulsed in his head. In that instant, he felt like the master of the world. The Tao existed for him, the laws prostrated before him. Everything within heaven and earth could be controlled with just a thought. This is a sovereign's manifestation Long Chen was completely shocked. Now, he truly understood why sovereigns were undefeatable. Although this place was resentful death city, it was connected to the martial heaven continent. At the same time as resentful death city's aura poured into the continent, the continent's aura also poured into resentful death city. In Long Chen's mind, the image of the martial heaven continent appeared in the violet sun manifestation, and he could then hear the call of the martial heaven continent. That feeling was very intimate, like a mother warmly rubbing his face, using her energy to support him. Do you feel it? These are the true heavenly deos of the martial heaven continent, said Sovereign Zi Yang. Long Chen nodded. He felt it. It was extremely moving, to the point where he almost wanted to cry. He had always thought that the heavenly deos wanted him dead, but now he knew that what harmed him was not the real heavenly deos. From Sovereign Zi Yang's manifestation, he felt the warmth and support of the heavenly deos. These heavenly deos were like a warm mother, whereas the heavenly deos that Long Chen usually encountered were an evil stepmother. The difference was immense. Long Chen was feeling this warmth from the heavenly deos for the first time. Long Chen. There are many unknown things in this world. You have to use your own power to investigate them. But there is one thing that you must remember. No matter what world it is, it cannot be perfect. The best things will always be mixed with the worst things. If you always pursue perfection, you will only be torturing yourself. If you expel all the impurities, there will be nothing left. Don't let the darkness blind your eyes because there will definitely be light behind that darkness. Otherwise, the darkness would not exist. What is a true expert? It is someone who continues to believe that life is beautiful after facing the darkness 99 times. Someone who can use their full feelings to embrace this world, said Sovereign Zi Yang. Long Chen silently pondered these words. He understood what Sovereign Zi Yang was trying to say, but he was unable to do the same. He would never be able to achieve that realm. The sovereigns were existences with the entire chi flow of the martial heaven continent condensed inside them. While the martial heaven continent gave its full power to them, they embraced the continent's people without seeking anything in return. They were sages who did their utmost for the world without asking anything in return. No matter how much scum existed in the martial heaven continent, no matter how much trash there was, the sovereigns didn't move to destroy them. Perhaps it was because the sovereigns stood at a different height, and they could see the light behind the darkness. However, Long Chen was unable to see it. He had never thought of himself as some sage because all he wanted to do was live with dignity. He didn't care if someone else had a light side to them behind their rotten exterior. Even if someone was a perfectly good person, if they wanted to kill him, he would fight to slay them first. This was Long Chen's character that had never changed and would never change. Although he understood the principles behind what Sovereign Zi Yan was saying, he was unable to accept them. Sovereign Zi Yang simply smiled and patted his shoulder. I'm just saying this in hopes that one day, when you fall into darkness and despair, you don't give up. Work hard to see the light behind the darkness. Perhaps, the light is right behind you. In that instant, Long Chen felt light explode inside his mind. 
It was as if he had received some enlightenment, and yet he also felt like he hadn't grasped anything at all. After all, Sovereign Zi Yang was not such a long-winded person that would waste his precious time on saying useless things. Long Chen knew that he was pointing him to something, but it felt like he was too stupid to entirely understand. It's fine if you don't understand. Understanding isn't much better anyway. All right, I'm going to make my move. As Sovereign Zi Yang stepped forward, dragon roars instantly rang out. After that, 10,000 dragons charged at Sovereign Zi Yang at once and Long Chen covered his ears, his head almost exploding. Because of the pressure of the roars, blood even poured out of his eyes, nose, and ears. Fuck, what is this crap? Long Chen cursed inside. What a ruthless blow to his confidence. He was like an ant in front of these terrifying existences. Without Sovereign Zi Yang, he would be instantly crushed. That old fellow fought a sovereign in his peak state for three whole days. Of course he's terrifying. A sovereign stands at the peak of that realm. So you're still greatly lacking. You'll understand once you enter the heaven merging realm. Said Evil Moon. Long Chen wiped his eyes. Leaving blood stains on his face. He disdainfully said. What's so amazing about him? Didn't I still manage to slap him in the face? Although that was what he said. Long Chen knew that he was just comforting himself. That slap was nothing more than luck because the elder had been focused on sovereign Zi Yang. After a while, Long Chen noticed a figure had stealthily come out of the altar. It was Yi Ming. At some point, he had also come out to watch. Fuck, let's wipe him out right now, said Long Chen. Don't be delusional. You won't be able to reach him. Just watch, said Evil Moon. The 10,000 dragons had formed a formation attacking and binding Sovereign Zi Yang. However, they were completely ignored by Sovereign Zi Yang who moved straight toward the Death Spirit Race Elder. 10,000 Dragon Slaughter. At this moment, the Death Spirit Race Elder's cane flashed, and the dragons transformed into runes, turning into a giant cyclone around Sovereign Zi Yang. Even after all these years, this technique of yours hasn't improved much. Sovereign Zi Yang flicked his finger, shooting out a ray of light. Boom. As a result, a tiny hole appeared within the twister, and it was like a balloon popping. The twister then instantly collapsed. Sorry, I don't have much time. I can't let you display your trump cards. Sovereign Zi Yang suddenly slammed his hand forward. After that, the violet sun behind him vanished, and a new rune appeared on his palm. That rune looked like a tiny cauldron. However, when the Death Spirit Race Elder saw that tiny cauldron, his expression completely changed. He clenched his bone cane, and light flowed out to envelop him. A small ray of light then shot out of Sovereign Zi Yang's palm. Like a sharp sword, it pierced through the elder's chest, and his body exploded. The violet light sword pierced far into the distance, tearing through spastime. Because of it, Long Chen saw a giant black hole appear within the void. From that hole, he could see a world of darkness with no life. There was only decay. Within it, he saw countless eyes and the faces of countless life forms that he had never seen before. They stared in shock as the light sword passed over them. Sovereign Zi Yan's attack had not only killed the elder of the Death Spirit race, but he had also torn the wall between worlds and given Long Chen a glimpse into the Death Spirit world. Long Chen gulped. Despite already dying, Sovereign Zi Yang still possessed this much power just as a discarnate soul. Then just how powerful was he in his peak? Do you regret it now? Sneered Evil Moon. Just a bit. If I had known. I would have kept this power in reserve. With the power of such an attack, who on the martial heaven continent would dare to touch me? Long Chen truly felt a bit regretful. How could he have known that Sovereign Zi Yang's remnant power would be so terrifying? He hadn't even said anything. Such a strong trump card had been wasted just like this. At the center of the altar, Yi Ming fled once again after he saw this scene. On the other hand, the Death Spirit Race Elder was killed but his cane continued to hang in the air, unleashing ripples. Zi Yang, you only have your discarnate soul left. You can't kill me. In just half a year, I will recover. While you have exhausted your final bit of energy, you're the final loser in the end. The elder's voice rang out from the cane. You really are a fool. If you had continued to endure and waited for me to set foot onto the martial heaven continent, 
then under the suppression of its laws, you would have had a chance to kill me. Last time you didn't kill me because you didn't understand the secret of the death spirit race's source energy. This time you knew, but you wasted your chance. Tell me, don't you think that you're a fool? Sovereign Zi Yang nodded. It truly is a pity. I originally was planning on preserving some energy to help lighten the pressure on him even after killing you. Conveniently, that is also a long-cherished wish of mine. However, he's tough. He doesn't need my power, nor does he want it. Hearing that, Long Chen almost wept. If he had known that the Sovereign's power was so terrifying, he wouldn't have wasted it no matter what. What if he encountered such a terrifying expert in the future? Then he would have no tears to cry. However, an act still had to be carried out. So Long Chen glanced at the elder and indifferently said, You're nothing more than an old ghost. If you dare to step onto the Martial Heaven continent, I'll make sure that you can't leave. You're domineering enough. Sovereign Zi Yang smiled and then extended a hand, shooting rays of light throughout resentful Death City.